everybody. Hello. It is a beautiful Friday afternoon. Beautiful day. Thank you guys for being here. It's Friday. It's after dark. Joined by the beautiful Hila and the Dior bucket hat. Okay. Are you all Dior out? The today? t-shirt too. <laughs> okay. It's this vintage uh, Jador Dior. Did you get it from the vintage lady? From eBay. Oh, eBay. That's what's up. Look at it. How much does a vintage Dior shirt cost on eBay? Oh, it was expensive? <laughs> I thought it wouldn't be. Well, what? how about you guess? You start. This shirt? Yes. I mean, under 50? Seriously? <laughs> I, it's just a T. I mean, it's vintage. It's kind of like trendy right now. Vintage Dior? This specific statement. The and, grindstones? And it, the what about J'adore Dior? Oh, J'adore? What's J'adore? I, I love. Okay, well, in putting words in my mouth. In French. I don't know nothing about Dior. <laughs> Vintage Dior is important stuff. Well, I'm, af I'm afraid to ask now that it's not <laughs> under 50. Is it under 100? No. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> so this is oh, still hot, because I don't know, sometimes just used designer clothes is like, yeah. not that expensive. Right. But not in this case. No. Is it under... 250. What? I'm really just... How are you spending our money? <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. Holy shit. But how much was that shirt new, do you think? So it, this is accumulated value? I don't actually know. It probably was more. Probably you think it was... was it's, just, it's just a... It's just a t-shirt, really, at the end of the day. Let me feel the fabric. It's a piece of history. Okay. Man, it doesn't... <laughs> feels like our classics material. <laughs> Which people can pick up for what, like 15 bucks? Yeah, hell can yeah. I, can Go I make to a guess, Fresh.com because it's a steal. Dan wants to guess. Go ahead, Dan. Yes. I bet that shirt was like $800. No. No, but thank you. Thank you. That makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> you. What if you were right, though? <laughs> I know you're, you're trying you to... You can find stuff like that for 800 I got a deal. Oh, just tell me how much. Oh, so you got a deal. Yeah, it was like 350 Oh my god. We're gonna go, we're gonna go broke, even <laughs> buying all these vintage designer t-shirts. It sounds like it's collecting value, though. Yes, it's it an, is. It's I kind of an investment. It. But don't wear it, then. Well, you gotta put it in the attic and wrap it in. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta air suck it, or whatever. <laughs> Vacuum seal it. Yeah, right. Listen. Like, my dad used to have Pee Wee Playhouse, like, ten of them in the attic. Mm. Oh, rip to the goat, dude. Rip to the goat, dude. And then, I don't think he made any money from those. Mm. Actually. He might now. Maybe a few Mash bucks. That button. Uh, mm. Thank you today to Hexclad for sponsoring us. I love our sponsors dearly, and I love Hexclad so much. So thank you to them. Okay, we got a great show here today, for which is different for us. We have um, we tried Phase Rugs Gummy Challenge, and it was bullshit. Mm. <laughs> so I want to try it. So you want to try one right now? Well, when we do this, okay. Right? We have five left, so that's pretty good. It'll go around. So we're going to try one of his bullshit candies, and then we're going to go to the world of sour candies and just see, like, I bet you, like, half of these are, or even more, are more sour. More sour? Yeah. So we're going to do it. Now, is the tier list about flavor or sourness? Well, we were debating that before the show. Well, I mean, what, what's your input? I feel I think, like it has to be a balance of the two. Well. Not just pure sour. Because I'm just trying to show, I want to show how shit this product is. Right. And so, if we do... I don't think it was good even on the metric of a candy, though. I think it should just be on sour. Okay. Just how sour. Sour on. And then, the, uh... The final, the finale here, Sam went in the laboratory and has mm -hmm. created a Frankenstein's monster of sour... <laughs> suicide. Sour kamikaze. Yeah. Sam, you want to supplement that with some info? Oh, you're muted. Still muted. Hold on one sec. Sam is Second, muted. A little technical difficulty. It's poofy. He took his... He took his cheese balls today. Mm -hmm. I have to give him medicine. Anti-nausea yeah. and, uh, omaprazole, which is heartburn, to lower his... his stomach acids. Yeah. He's he puking it out a lot. And he stopped puking since we've been doing he that. He has, yeah, he has. Uh, the vet is coming today, by the way, at like two or something. So, Alina, if the vet comes, 
I just want to know if if I can't step away. I just want to know if Shredder's like underweight. How's his? How's he look? Is he hydrated? You know what I mean? Right. And so then you're just, gonna come out and talk to her, right? If I'm just saying, if I can't. Okay. Just, just that's the information I want because he's. He, I noticed. I I don't know if I'm. If it is happening or not, it seems to me that he might be eating less. Oh. So I wanted to make sure he's not losing weight, if she can tell me that. Okay. Yeah, I'll let you know when she's here. Did you guys see Alfredo? Yeah, I'm over on Zach. Okay, go, go ahead, Sam. So, yeah, I made homemade warheads, and I tried to kick them up a notch, so we'll see. Now, did you... What was the material? Did you use these to make it, or... You... No, I no, I made them from scratch. Oh, so we'll see. I watched a lot of Warhead Factory videos, a lot of Claire Saffitz videos. So oh, we might have to package that the H three sour mm. challenge, huh? The real one. See? It should the be called one. Fuck Phase Rug Challenge. Yeah. <laughs> How do you make sour, Sam? What is that flavor? It's uh, a combination of acids, but mostly citric acid. Oh. Just super concentrated lemon juice. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's how they just extract it from lemons mostly. So, yeah, oh. I'm interested to see if uh, you'll think it's worse than Warhead. Hmm. Well, this is very exciting because we have the extreme sour Warhead. So this is not, this is real shit right here, boy. Anyway, that's coming up. Um, we also have... Um, XQC literally said he's going to sue me because I called him a content thief. Yeah, last night I was um, I was actually doing a photo shoot. Yeah. Okay. And while we were all having fun, all of a sudden I see you talking about another lawsuit. I was like, what? He also made fun of my Tourette's, which, you know, I was like... Again, I don't really care, but it's always so pathetic. It's always a it, loser move. It doesn't make me feel bad or anything. Yeah, it's just a loser move. Like, here it is. If you ever see a video like that on YouTube... And this this is the quality of React you can get from your boy XQC. It is most likely from a fan channel that took a straight VOD rip and posted it on YouTube and is monetizing it themselves. It's, yeah. not, it's not touching me in any capacity. And can I be honest with you? What? There will be a time, in my opinion... There will be some legal hammer that will come down on streamers, and there will be a time. No, you know, chat, yeah. you know, you guys... chat, you know, chat, no chat, no chat. There it's like, bro, come on. It's like time to grow up a little bit. Anymore, dude. There used to be that show. people were gonna start. I mean, me, me having ticks is not like a response to what I'm saying. I don't know if he thinks it is. I think no, he chat? thinks that there's that's a, a own. Chat? chat, there's a time chat where people are gonna be teleporting, dude. And and oh, um, I don't even know what I'm watching. He's not, he's incoherent most of the time, but he actually messaged me. He wants to debate So I guess we're gonna have a call on Monday where he's gonna try to explain to me how sitting quietly and watching a three-hour Documentary isn't content theft. I oh, look forward to hearing that. that What is that what he's doing? I mean, I'm exaggerating, but yeah, basically that's the criticism he's getting. Hey Gabe, what's up? Gaby boy, Gaby baby Uncle Gabe! It's my boy! My uncle! Alright! <laughs> Giving Donna. <laughs> Gabe is having a hard time out there. It's a hot, sunny day in LA, boy. You just no love for Gabe out there. Keep flipping, Gabe. It's gonna work. I love the flipping. Can you hear us, Gabe? You know, te Gabe is usually pretty tech savvy. This is this is unusual for him, <laughs> but it is fun. Mm, that. There you go. There we go. <laughs> there he is. Okay. Gabe, baby, <laughs> you keep flipping it, or is that like what's happening? <laughs> is that you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, why do you keep flipping it? This is like a new TikTok trend. I Wait, feel this like. is a whole new dynamic. This is a whole new <laughs> paradigm. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Woo! Fuck, baby. Ugh, it's all flipped. Go out a second. <laughs> is, what is this, Triller? All right, listen, Gabe. <laughs> I'm having we love trouble. you, buddy. <laughs> I think it's upside down. You have a good him. weekend, okay? <laughs> yeah, we're doing the yeah, Sour Challenge. Sour Challenge!
Uncle Gabe, everybody. <laughs> hey, I got these in. Uh, man, I can. All right. <laughs> yeah. Warheads, baby. Yeah, warheads, baby. Woo! <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I just want to say it's Friday, baby. I'm having technical difficulty on my phone because it's connected mm. to the car. We're on our way to San Diego and going to the zoo. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Hey. Gabe, can you hear me? Gabe, can you hear me? <laughs> oh, man. I see. <laughs> having a... Gabe. My phone. Gabe, can you hear me? <laughs> okay. Uh... This is Shadow Gabe, who has a good internet connection. I'm Bizarro Gabe. I've come to take your place. I'm White Claw Gabe. I've come to destroy Uncle Gabe. Okay, Gabe, you're you're good. I've come to supplant you. What's going on? Uncle Gabe, you will never call in again because White Claw Gabe is taking over. <laughs> You will never. He's going to San Diego. I'm going to Santa Barbara. This is Bizarro White Claw go, Gabe. I'm going to the zoo in Santa Barbara. Oh, you're back. You good? Woo! Oh, no. 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 Okay. <laughs> I'm Bizarro Gabe. I got a huge sponsorship from White Claw. I live in a giant mansion in Beverly Hills with my White Claw money. <laughs> And look at you. I got it. Oh, oh all right, cool. Hey. Ooh, sorry, some technical difficulties. You want to do a warhead for us? Woo, warheads, baby. I just got it from the 99 cent store. You got those for 99 cents? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Store, That's a good deal. A buck 30, but I what? hear these are the best. Buck 30? Yeah. <laughs> You didn't ask them about like why is this a dollar thirty? It's ninety nine cents. <laughs> I don't know. It's because of the inflation. The, it's inflation. I call it the Biden inflation. The inflation's hitting the ninety nine cent store. You gotta add that to the <laughs> title: ninety nine cent store plus inflation. Right. <laughs> you want to hit one, Gabe, or you're gonna save them for the drive? I'll save some for the drop. Maybe I'll have one. Yeah, let's one, do that. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Let's see how I, good you are. Show me how. Oh. What the f? It's a whole bag of them. They're gummies, though, so I don't. Uh, I don't know how those ones hang up. To, uh, oh. <laughs> compare. Oh, Gabe's a sour fiend. Super sour but good. The warheads. Mm. How do they taste? Super sour, but good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. You're a sour god. Look at you. Without hesitation, gonna, no yeah. problem. He's gonna melt down. All right, Gabo. Have fun in San Diego. Say hi to the uh, animals for me. Yeah. Woo. We love them. Fuck yeah, baby. Woo. Woo. Fuck the it's fuck, a baby. Piss in my ass. Going to my the phone. zoo, bitch. Have you seen an yeah. anteater? They have an anteater. You remember? It's yeah. It's a piss no, on yeah. my ass on the phone because my phone's technical difficulties. I'm sorry about that. But no, you're good. Anyway, it's Friday, baby. Oh, I have a good one. Put that. I hope that ant eater puts his tongue up my ass, <laughs> bitch, oh. and navigates my my intestines oh. like an ant hill, baby. Because <laughs> you've seen how their tongue is like super long and it can go up and down. It's perfect for eating ass. Yeah. Fuck, man. Fuck. Shit, baby. Woo. Yeah. Share on my warheads and. Put oh, it don't give them warheads, nose, though. Bitch. That probably would kill them. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dub for old Ethan. <laughs> you doing some tongue action on me? I see. I see your game. That's that's how the snake does it. Oh yeah. Oh. Lick so, my asshole, snake so, bitch. All right.
Did you well interest? Do you know snakes smell from their tongue? So that's also an interesting uh, connection. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Cabo. Have a good weekend, okay? Have fun in San Diego. All right, have a good one, Friday, right. baby. Take, Bye. take care. Bye, dude. <laughs> that is Uncle Gabe, everybody. The artist formerly known as White Claw Gabe. We don't talk about White Claws anymore. They are scum, and uh, we don't we don't fuck with White Claws. Just uncles. <laughs> All right. 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 I'm hanging up now. See you, Gabe. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> what a guy. He's a good guy. What a guy. He Great always finds guy. the time to call in. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Um. So what were we saying? Yeah, we've got all kinds of stuff. We got the XQC. Apparently, Kai Sinat, who's like the number one Twitch streamer, just right now, we were talking about it before you got in. He just caused like a massive riot in Times or in uh, Union Square. A riot? I don't know if it's a riot, but it looked like it was bordering on one. <laughs> what, like a meetup? Yeah, he was doing like a giveaway, and it, it was like uh, a little out of hand. A little out of hand. He started running, dude. Started running. Him and his security jumped up a hill, <laughs> and the girl he was with didn't make it. <laughs> she got like eaten by zombies, dude. <laughs> They're picking her bones right now. Oh, not. Sounds rough. Do we have footage of that? Yeah, we do. Okay. So, uh, I guess we can watch that. I mean, it's happening right now. Let's yeah. see. So, here he is announcing... Is he showing it all live? Yeah. Well, he went... His camera fell on the ground, and then the feed died. <laughs> like, literally, Blair Witch Project. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, here he says, be there. Kai Sinat, New York City. For giveaway. 14th Street, Union Square Park. Our question is, did he get a... How do you do a giveaway with... These people just showing up in his place. They just show up. My question is, did he get a permit? Because if he didn't, he's going to be absolutely fucked by the city of New York. Um, so here's the announcement, I guess. And then okay. here is a tweet promoting the event. Okay. He's hyping it up. God did. Oh, that that's a DJ Khaled thing. He's back. Mm -hmm. I told you he's back. Okay. He is having a moment. Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. God did. God did. God did. God did. Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. <laughs> 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 the whole ocean. <laughs> God did. <laughs> <laughs> Friend of the show, DJ Khaled. Uh, we live right now on Twitch. Pull up ASAP. Okay. okay. All happening. And then, and then cut to ABC helicopter. <laughs> New York City live action See news. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, there was no permit for that then. There's no way. That's what I, well the police are there already, but I guess this is the aftermath. There's trash everywhere. Oh god. Yeah, I mean, this is an actual live feed. Union Square is not a place you want to fuck with because it's like a main one of this the main. This is live hubs. right now. Mm -hmm. No, wait, this is live? Yeah, you're watching the live. Oh, feed. shit. Uh, so it's still all thing. fucked up. Yeah. On its well, well, it looks like it's dying down from yeah. where it was before. If you scroll down the article, they have the old video. This is big I mean, so Union Square, if you don't know, is a major hub. There's like yeah. tons of uh, it's super major um, uh, subway station, lots of tourism, stores. Very popular spot, so shutting that whole place down, including the surrounding streets, is quite psychotic. Hmm. For the city, that, 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 that's not good. So here's ABC. Where's the one of, that I saw of the, uh, when the it was zombies? first happening? It's, it's at the, the bottom. Where it looks like yeah, that's what I... Where is it at the bottom? God, dude. Which number? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, no, it was in that uh, article. That you were just at watching the live stream, uh, number four, in the bottom of this. That's what I just opened. I don't think they would Hear give this? anybody yeah. a permit to do that. Oh, yes. Yeah, no so way. okay, so here's the live report. <laughs> what? Sandra, as you can see, I am standing next to the no. Union Square subway station entrance, where it looks like it was closed off because of construction. But look up on what? top of that. That's what's happening on top of the subway station I want to know what did it give away. I can't even count. count I was like a PS5 giveaway, I think. How many? That's awesome. Right? Just one. Just one. Anybody correct me on that? Mommy, PS5s, and oh, stuff like that. Like typical stuff, stuff yeah. yeah. I've actually got a couple of 
But like, how many people actually got to get something? No, no, no one. He ran for his life. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you that clip. <laughs> um, why you came out here, what you expected to happen, what did happen. All right, my name is Dylan. Oh, this is after. Than that, this, in the article, you can see when he pulls up, there's like people on his car. If that's <laughs> his car, or that's just a random car, I'm not even sure. This is still the aftermath. This is so insane. Let's see. But you'll notice that the streets are totally blocked off. Or, I mean, the traffic, I mean, is just at a dead stand. No, this is crazy, then. Giveaway for the fans. Giveaway of what was the understanding? So, from my understanding, PS5s, video Y'all want a PS5? I can do that. Y'all don't need to shut down, like, the biggest metropolis in the city, in the country. One of the biggest in the uh, world. PCs. But I don't think they will actually give away an actual PC, because how is somebody going to carry that? So yeah, that's sure what I'm wondering. Cards for them to then go and get the P5 themselves. So, safe to assume that you, along with your friends, came out here thinking that you would get some freebies. Is that correct? Not that we're thinking, but there's a chance to, because, you know, there's so many people and there's only so much you can give. Has anything right. happened? Is he here? Um, he's here right now, yeah. And they were giving out, but people are... Okay, here's the clip. Uh, here it is. Here it is. Thank you, Cam. Four, five, six, um, several other Oh, this is live? Wait, what, okay. All of these feeds are live, so I think that's what's confusing you. You no, we, don't skip I, to about 25 minutes. In the, oh, I can go back on this? Yeah. Okay, great. The other one I couldn't. So, okay, yeah, 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 look at this, Hila. We'll go back to the beginning. Crowds were, like, merging in on each other. And Here's the helicopter. Throwing bottles and buckets, and it looked wait, like... Wait, they're attacking the police? <laughs> total mess oh, here. why? Yo, How did we go from attacking a giveaway the police, to... Bro. Let's go. <laughs> from a giveaway to this throwing... This is straight up... This is... Uh, this is January 6th, bro. This is Switch TV January 6th. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the chaos, man. They're there to... <laughs> they're gonna start... The PS5. There's a Best Buy right there in the Union Square. They're gonna break that place. They they want that PS5 <laughs> through hell or high water. Away from them, and presumably that ladder was there for the construction happening in this area. But they're the, the crowds are, are trying to get up on the roofs of this. They're trying to get up onto. The I mean, I guess. No, uh, great job, social media stars. We're out there. <laughs> Well, we'll have to know. I don't know, because his, like, whole production and everything seems pretty professional to me. I, I, I'm i leaning towards they probably did get permission to do yeah. it. No way. I think so, yeah. too. I, and it just got out of hand. But even if they did have permission, I guess I guess then that he's just like Paul McCartney. He's just the Beatles. I don't know what to say. <laughs> right. But what was it planned to look like? Where was the setup? Was there any setup? It looks like he had some kind of... It seemed like there was something there, right? That's Some kind of little that. fort here with some shoddy... I don't, yeah, I don't know but what he... Bad planning and bad, like, you know, crowd control. And then here's the police being attacked. Like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Yeah. Where's my PS5? If you guys get a nice <laughs> single file line, you will get it. <laughs> fuck you, pig! Where's my PS5? Guys, back! <laughs> Dude, they're fucking pissed, bro. Yo, I was exp I was promised a year at Xbox Live. Whoa, look at Ooh. that. Oh my god. God damn. Yo, this is like the last place I ever want to be. Mm. These are people getting like crushed in there too. Yeah. yeah. It's very dangerous. So this is what we saw live. That's crazy. And we're like, the fuck? <laughs> so yeah, many I, people. Yeah, I feel like I was seeing like crowd control things mixed in amongst the crowd yeah. and I think it just got overrun. Yeah, there's a really? railing. There's yeah. a, like a massive railing. And well, stuff. What, I, what I don't understand is, see, these are live streets. Look at these cars. Yeah. They are, this traffic is gridlocked for hours. <laughs> Boy. New, like really? Manhattan is going to be fucked for like the whole day. <laughs> this is like worse than when the president comes to town. Uh. Just a bus full of people here. So I found that pretty funny, pretty interesting. Um, oh, here's his stream. This is really quite, quite interesting. So I guess, yeah, they're inside of that little building. So you, you guys are right. He probably did have a permit. Huh. He must have, right? No, this is inside a truck or like okay. a car. I think so they like just didn't expect it to be that crazy? Oh, so he's not in the center? I think he's that, I think they got stopped in the road. So they had, they like left the car to go walk there. But that was obviously the mistake. Mm. Then they got swarmed. 
He got stuck in his own gridlock. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's I, and I think they were to walk there. Yeah, it and just they seems go, like all what a nightmare. Plan. All right, yeah. so check check this out, dude. It's absolutely insane. Where the park at? Right here. All right. Right. He's asking where's the park well, at. Okay. <laughs> 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 Yo, I can't have nobody bumping into my book bag this time because we see it. Yeah, everybody's gonna so at this and point, they're all gonna search now, forward. And... Now they're running for their lives. <laughs> and good thing he's got like the biggest bodyguards I've ever seen. Yeah. That was smart. They're just running for their lives, dude. Look how look how worried they are. The bodyguards. <laughs> yep. He, he's starting to hear that, boy. <laughs> <laughs> now they're jumping the wall, booking it, and watch his girl tries to jump up. She I didn't know. make it. She's gone. She's dead. <laughs> The camera hits the floor, the <laughs> feed ends. So epic. Oh, wow. It's so epic. like a movie. That was crazy. Feed <laughs> ends, dude. Games. Straight up. They took the camera. They're like, we're not getting a PS5. I'm taking the damn camera. Yeah. Wow. Pure chaos. And now he's offline. Wow, that was... That was one big disaster. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man. Oh, he did a story two minutes ago. This is good. Okay, okay let's take a look. Here's an update from Kai. He says, I love you guys to the fullest. You guys are amazing. The love from home base is real. Please be safe. <laughs> he's giving, that's dipped. it. You know what? He's that's giving stand back and stand by. I was about and to say, it's <laughs> Trump on January 6th. I Dude. love you. You're very special. But please, you have to go home. Stand back we love you. and stand very by. Very special. <laughs> he's not even saying go home. You know what I mean? He's yeah. saying stand back and yeah, stand Trump, by. Trump's very <laughs> special. Go home. So. You're very special. We love you. We love you. Um, the vet is here. Yeah, maybe just grab Shredder, Lena. Yeah, before he knows what's going on. Oh, crazy. Well, I hope nobody wow. got too seriously injured. Is that? that I hope. Be, God, that wow, that would be awful. Yeah, that would be. And I, you know what I mean. My heart just goes out to the people that really need that PS5. Mm. <laughs> Which is apparently a lot. Oh yeah. A lot of people. Need PS5. And then I had a hard time the rest of the weekend. <laughs> um, here's a f the IRL stream? Or this is his stream. Hey, what is this? This is a Taco Bell ad. <laughs> oh, let's watch this. Man, fuck you, Taco oh, Bell. Pay hell me. Oh, yeah. Hey, whatever. So that's happening right now. Twitch January 6th is happening. <laughs> they were storming Best Buy August in 4th. Union Square. August 4th. We'll never forget this hollow day. Oh, right. And there was a massive fight uh, breaking out when we were watching live, too. Oh, yeah. I wonder if we could... F I mean, probably... It's impossible. somewhere in yeah. that helicopter footage, but yeah, we there was, saw in the crowd. People were straight up throwing punches on <laughs> yeah. each other. Wow. There it is. <coughs> so should we ever do a giveaway? I was just going to say, not to, like, toot my own horn, but I don't think if we did a fan meetup, people would start fighting and attacking the police. I just don't think so. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. It's New York. It's a uh, and there, his fan base is a bunch of rowdy. Really teenagers. hot. It is what it is. Like it's hot. That's true. Yeah. You know, murders go up when it's hot. Yeah, the the what temperatures are boiling. That's hot. That's hot. And then the cup come at you, and you just have to throw a bottle. Apparently. <laughs> I get it. It's just a knee jerk reaction. When you see a cup, you throw a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's do some goofs and gaffs at the top here, and we'll get into the main stories. We're actually almost at 30, if you want to knock that out, or we could do one more goof and then... Some, I just want to say, we have somebody here in the chat that says, I have a PS5 and it's a paperweight <coughs> right now. Oh, come on. Oh, dude, I what the fuck? I'm t dude, I'm setting a riot to your home. We're storming <laughs> that bitch. I'm going to call him by name, Reek. I'm crawling in through the Rick windows now. Ghastly. <laughs> Oh, here's a big oh, announcement. Oh, wait, Rick Gasly said something about chicken fried. Never mind. Rick Astley's in the chat? <laughs> but, no, the PS5 comment was from somebody that didn't have the courage to put a name in there. Give me your address, oh, dude. We're coming. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't put your address. Jesus. Please don't do that. All right, check this out. Big announcement for the ad. We have one sponsor. It'll be fast, but Teddy Fresh is announcing, finally. Yeah. Some of you suspected, but here it is. Hey. Teddy Fresh X... Trixie Mattel. And look at this photo shoot. Fire. 
and also fire. This is amazing. And wow. I, these outfits, the designs, phenomenal. I'm so, so happy exciting. with it. And I don't know if I should ever refer to him as a he or a she, but when he's not in drag, it's a he, and when he's in drag, it's a she. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. So he was crushing it. He was loving the looks, and it was so. I wasn't there, but by all accounts, the photo shoot was. I was uh, there, and it was, was amazing. Great. And everybody loved everything. Just the whole, the whole photo shoot went so well. It was so fun. Oh yeah, and it was Sam, just good vibes only. Dude, Sam made the best, Sam craziest made the best set. Sets. I can't wait for you guys to so see. Crazy. It. The, so crazy. So crazy. The collection came out amazing. Yeah, so the pictures to come out. Trixie um, really loved all the pieces, which was just like the biggest like accomplishment, you know, when you design something. It's like, if you ever watch Project Runway, working with a client is the hardest, the hardest challenge. <coughs> Cause you gotta like, you gotta make them happy and you gotta keep your identity in the designs. Mm -hmm. And um, that's kind of like how I see it when we work on collabs. And Trixie, loved everything like seriously loved it well and it, i saw i saw her wearing some of the pieces already yeah in public yeah, yeah that was really cool <laughs> thank you to the state of texas by the way for 50 gifted subs thank Whoa! you yeah! a little yeehaw, yeehaw for the dude. state of texas huh so this that is all very work. exciting it's coming out uh august 24. yeah so actually we have another um release that's gonna come out before but i I couldn't hold on to these pictures it's, and to this secret, so the we, hype is we posted this. It's a teaser, but um, please be patient until... I'm actually... The hype is pretty great. I mean, it has 84,000 likes before yeah. we even talked about it. That's pretty great. Thank you guys for your interest and being excited about this. Yeah. And thank you to Trixie, who, uh, mm -hmm. you know, is working with us, legend. And Tati, the legend, shot these. Did great too. Yeah. So there it is. That's very exciting. We're looking forward to that. Well done, Ila, not everybody. Uh, Thank you. I know we moved on from Kai, but just one more clip that Avery just sent me. It's actually Hassan's streams. We're going to do one of these, but apparently this is Kai in this car when he drove off. And look at all the fans. They, oh they my got God. The <laughs> They're on it. Oh, that guy fucking ate it. Wait, go back. Let me see that kid fall off. Oh my don't god! Don't do this, by the no. way. This, this, this is this is a don't do this. Okay, <laughs> pull it up. Get it off the screen. <laughs> don't do that, you guys. That's that is something uh, that you should never, ever, ever, oh ever god. do. Wow. Now that's sad. Ooh. What's the deal with him? He's seriously Just like never, the Beatles. Never do it. It is death. I know he's popular, but like, oh, not like ride on the car uh, popular. Wrong. Mm. I'm well proven <laughs> wrong. That's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Why is the car going so fast when they know there's like people attached to it? Really? And it's a they're fight like, for their life. Fast. <laughs> yeah, they're being a little reckless. A little, a little reckless. A little wet, a little reckless. A little wet, a little reckless. Um, uh, ten dollar donation from Victoria, YouTuber Kai Sinet has a giveaway in New York City, and it caused a riot live on most news sources. <laughs> Thanks. What? Thanks, Victoria. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, Victoria, watching and not listening. <laughs> Breaking news, you guys. <laughs> um, that was insane. That clip on the bus. Yeah, that was wild. So, what kind of content does he do? You know, I haven't really watched, but I know people like him. He's funny, apparently. Also, I saw him get a hand job once on live, which is kind of oh, that was that's the wild. same guy. Yeah, he yeah. Got the handy. Okay. I think he's alleging that he wasn't getting a hand job. But oh, we mm. all know that. Mm. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> Cheers, my dude. We've all seen the clip. Get real. Love ya. Okay. <laughs> so let's thank our sponsor, the wonderful Hexclad, who oh. I have the pleasure of partnering with. I am absolutely in love mm -hmm. with this brand. Me too. Love ya. I love ya. Hexclad is... Uh, listen, what they make ma mainly is pots and pans. Mm -hmm. They also have other incredible kitchen items like knives and cutting boards, yep. which are great. I have those too. Mm -hmm. But they're known for these incredible pans. And these aren't just normal pans. These are super pans. Let me show you what I'm talking about. 
Gordon Ramsay is gushing. Hexland's industry-leading cookware doesn't just stop with pans. Its six-piece pot set will perfectly round out your cooking collection. From mashing the most amazing potatoes to even tempering chocolates. I you. What? Mm. Gordon Ramsay is so bouncy. Have you noticed that? He's like always yeah. bouncing. Just, he's got that much energy. Is he just buzzing? He's buzzing, just, man. I want what he's on. I mean, he I does a lot. Of energy. He does a lot. Look how he just bounces. The man yeah, is just leading cookware. Doesn't just stop with Look, pans. he just sits on his tippy toes all the time. We round out your cooking collection from mashing the most amazing potatoes to eating. That's just how excited he is about hexclad.com slash after dark. Right. Use code after he dark. definitely used code after dark. Yep. Well, I don't care about the food, Gordon. Show me the pans. Really, the food look good. Ultimate durability. Right. There's no limit to what you can Are you do hungry? when you have the <laughs> <Are> you <laughs> Get creative and dazzle. So it has this incredible um, pattern that they've built in, these hexagons. And somehow they've created this pan that's non-stick and scratch-proof. You can literally use a metal fork in it. I didn't know that. And, yep. and, and it's, it doesn't scratch. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's pretty cool. And so, you know, if it's got everything you would want or need in a pan. Um, it's all I use now at home. Yeah. I can't wait for my mom to use it. She's coming. Oh, <laughs> that we should have her do a review next a time. Review. Here's Hila's mom, guys. <laughs> um, let me go to their website so you can get a better look at these gorgeous pans. But um, yeah, I use it for everything now. I'm using it for steaks. Mm -hmm. I'm using it for pastas. Yep. Sauces. Sauces. Here's the here. All, all different flavors. flavors. All different flavors. <laughs> flavors. Um. Here's their website. Check this out. Look at that, dude. Look at that. It, it's it's a revolution. It really is. I don't think I've seen one person use this who wasn't totally blown away. Hmm. I was using this before. This is one of the brands where I've like, I love this product. I want to reach out and see if they want to work together. Sometimes that actually works, and this is one of those times. Um, it's it's. I'll say the price point is like. Expense pans are expensive. Good pans, pans are expensive, and so I think the price point is fair for what it. It's more than fair for what it is. But I remember like, the first time we bought a set of pans. We like, like we got to spend that much. Five hundred dollars. Yeah. But those were shit pans even then, because mm -hmm. you want a pan. If you're going to spend two hundred dollars on a pan, right? You want it to last. Yeah. This pan is never going to betray you, and it looks, cooks, mmm, text clad all day every day, baby. <laughs> yeah, I got good news for you guys too. Find your forever cookware at Hexclad and get ten percent off with the promo code After Dark. Go to hexclad.com/slash/afterdark. Is there an exclamation in the URL or yeah. no? Oh, it's very confusing. You just need to be like they're just excited. excited. You need to be bouncing like Gordon. Boun you're not bouncing right. enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Once again, go to hexclad.com slash after dark. Link is in the description, guys. 10% off. And listen, if you're in the if you're in the market for cookware, I'm telling you. He's telling you're you. You're gonna say thank you, Ethan. I love my hexclad. Thank you guys. Thank you to Hexclad. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, funky boy. Let's freaking go. Hey. Let's freaking go! Woo! Okay, it's Friday. Let's freaking go! Thank you. Where is that music coming from? It's so good. Our boys at uh, Epidemic Sound. Shout out Epidemic Royalty Sound. free. Thank you guys very much. Shout out. Yeah, those guys roll. I think we just pay like a monthly thing. Yeah. Is that a month? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well worth it. Shout out. Um. So, did you hear we're nominated for a streamy again? Hell yeah, I did. Of course we are. I'm the ultimate bridesmaid at streamy. <laughs> Never the bride, always the <laughs> bridesmaid. And so... <laughs> Will this year be different? What do you guys Okay, think? so at first I was like, because they reached out to me way earlier than usual to yeah. tell me I was nominated and they were asking for footage or for mm. pictures. And I was like, oh, we're going to win. And by the way, this is like the sixth time. Like, they got to, they, they, you know what I mean? And, I, like, clearly, if you look at the other shows, ours is better. Oh. Obviously. And so, like, you gotta stop pretending. 
and just give me the fucking award. Yeah. Yep. I know I talk shit about you guys all the time, but like it's bigger than that. And yeah. your integrity is on the line. Yep. And so I thought we were going to win until I saw this. They put together mm. a sizzle reel of all the nominees. Mm. Look what they mm. put. Look what they put for me. Check this shit out. <laughs> Do you think he's a pathological liar? Whoa! Hey Fuck. everyone, welcome back to- Stupid Shetty. <laughs> Dumbass. You know he interviewed Joe Biden? <laughs> God, I hate him. Ugh, dumbass. Stupid, beautiful-eyed fuck. <laughs> Those eyes. Who are you? How dare you have the eyes that beautiful? I think he's an asset. We were talking about this earlier yep. today. Yeah, for sure. Oh! Yeah. Where Wait. did he come from? That's a good question. A three-letter agency. FBI. How does he have access? Probably FBI, maybe CIA. Has anyone ever asked those questions? Yeah. That's I would I'm like saying. to if he'd have the if he had the balls to invite me on his show. Yeah. On purpose. I'll show you a purpose, Jay Shetty. To overthrow the US government, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh Wait, I'm had, dying to see what okay, clip okay. they use. Yeah, yeah, Let yeah, me yeah, see yeah, it. yeah. Okay, 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 okay. But hold on. So they asked you for clips? Did you No, no, no. They edited this. You they asked for a picture okay. to put on their website. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome back to On Purpose, the number one health podcast in the world. Thanks to each and every one of you. It's a rainy day out here in Los Angeles. Do you think <laughs> <laughs> Those fuckers, bro. The fuck? That's what the fuck that is a rainy day out here Riveting. in Los Angeles. Yeah. Is that, that all you need to see? What am I, a weatherman? It's Hi, I'm Jay Shetty. Uh, I'm the number one podcast in the world. I uh, saved the puppy's life this morning. Uh, yeah. it's, it's a rainy, rainy day, day in Los, here Los Angeles. Angeles. Well, what is this, the no. weather channel? I mean, I, you know, I, it's like, uh, what the fuck? How does that represent me? Day out here in Los Angeles. Yeah. Seriously? <laughs> Why did they do that? You've also like never sounded less oh like yourself. <laughs> right. Rainy day in Los Angeles. Los Angeles. <laughs> You're kind of like saying it like ironic. I was, yeah, I was, yeah. That and so the beginning. there's no shot we're winning after I saw that. <laughs> and then a few people even get. That's not fair. No, it's, they're, a rainy it's day fucking day bullshit. Here in Los Angeles. Why did they even bother to nominate us? But here is um the so. Two podcasts get even two appearances. Watch Each this. And every one of you. It's a rainy day out here in Los Angeles. <laughs> Do you think you ever turned a blind eye? Call her daddy. That's her second appearance. Yes. And she got the hero shot in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're 100 no, episodes. Not. I was like, I was like, no, it's not. We don't know what episode it is ever. Uh, We've been saying 100 for about I think seven it's 85. episodes. Man. At least there's like something happening there. Man. He wants you to wire him a dollar. And then Logan fucking Paul got two. Okay. Unbelievable. Logan Paul, the s prolific scammer. <sighs> That's just not okay. <laughs> Look at that frame. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> so, um, I don't, Los Angeles. I don't think we're going to win. <laughs> we're, I guess these guys want to go, so I'm going to send them with fake Ethan. <laughs> it's a rainy day. But the, bro the reason I don't want to want to go, I would consider it, frankly, but last year when... Ian went with fake Ethan. Mm -hmm. They announced the winner during a commercial break. They, yeah. The people in the building didn't even know who won the fucking yeah. podcast award. Who cares about podcasts? Yeah. Well, yeah, right. So, so who cares about the streamies? Not me. <laughs> Clearly. It's a rainy day out here in Los Angeles. <laughs> That's me, Come Ethan on. Klein from the Street Podcast, the the weather guy. Why would they pick that? Because they fucking hate me. So somebody. Who had the theory that pointed this out that um, apparently that clip is from the opening seconds of the Tana podcast? It's like literally like the first five seconds. Yeah, okay. it's, it's uh, in the doc. It's the next link. Okay, yeah. So they just click some shit. I think they clicked a random episode and just took the first like five seconds. Of That's nice. I can tell but... somebody there's a is a big fan of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look. Yeah. Part of me kind of wants us to go and fully dress up but and like do the whole thing. Us. We could really they like put us at a fucking table, like twenty seats back. It's humiliating. But we could really stunt, <laughs> right? You know? Didn't they put your ass in the back? You lost weight. There isn't really a back. It's like you don't. You look better than this now. Don't you want to kind of like show off and be like, "Hey, losers"? No, because they're they're gonna put you at the back of the fucking bus. And they're not even going to acknowledge you. It's, it's Ian, like, can you speak there's to no the, were respect. Were you in the back? Were you stuck in the back? Yeah, it's there? sort of like a, a big toilet bowl. 
<laughs> and we were on the outer bowl with like six moist criticals. Right. Uh, they put them with the moist. You're, they're gonna seat us with all the moist critical imposters. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not doing that. I can't put myself through something like that. It's humiliating. Can we put it up for a vote? What does everybody think we should do? Or you're just. You're not even gonna. They're, hear it. they're not even gonna give us a table this time. They'll probably make us sit on this. On the steps behind the fucking. It's a rainy day the up floor. here in Los Angeles. <laughs> maybe we'll, maybe they'll give us standing space. Honestly, it's a game. You got to play the game. Last year, I tried. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You sent an imposter. You sent an imposter. They didn't know that though. Oh, but they did. no, yeah, they but did. I'm because saying, we didn't like, lie to them. If we That's show up this time, and we slay, then next time they're gonna be like, we made a mistake. Dude, we need those people in the front. Last time, I tried to play the game with them. And I even was like, I'm coming, when they invited me. I said, I am coming, RSVP, yes, to give them the opportunity to do the right thing. Coming. And year after year, these people, they continue to do the wrong thing. <laughs> now, I can't help them. Mm -hmm. Watch, they're going to give it to, Lo here's, yeah, this is the HG podcast, according to the streamies. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, everybody. The number one weather podcast in the look, world. <laughs> oh looking a little God. rainy in San Diego today. 59 degrees, a light rain. Clear up by uh, nighttime. Go out to Las Vegas. Nice sunny day, 61 degrees coming in here. It's a rainy day out here in Los Angeles. <laughs> Welcome, by the way, <laughs> to the H3 podcast. Oh, God. That's so funny. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. You, we could put it up to a vote if you want, but I'm, I, I'm still anti-streaming. I think you gotta play the game. I put it, Putting up a vote. No, no, you didn't. You might as well just say you're you going, because the audience is gonna tell That's you to go. Game. But it shouldn't- Dude, yeah, they need this, to- it needs to be- This- They have no integrity. <laughs> okay, do a poll. We'll see if people want us to go or not. Should- <laughs> Should Ethan and Ela go to the streamies. Well, also, something you guys don't consider is that it's just gonna be a room full of people that I've spent years shitting on. <laughs> I think- That's why I can never go to those, these some, things. Well, well Ian, can you tell it. us what was it like last time? Is it correct? Well, they- they put the high rollers sort of in their own section, so... I don't know if they'll seat you over there, so you may not have to even talk to them. It'll like who? <laughs> who are we worried about? No, I, like I, Logan or people like yeah, that. Yeah, all those guys are right mm. at the front. So you won't worry. They'll put you in the back. <laughs> so you don't have to Come talk. on, dude. I'm going to sit behind them. I mean, I'm a grown-ass man. Back, dude? I'm a grown-ass man. I can't show up and be humiliated like that. I won't recover. You know, that kind of stuff has a lasting effect on my <laughs> ego. <laughs> so we never saw Logan since that one time, right? Since the car story, yeah, Have you guys heard that by the yeah, way. Like, I want to punch you. Yeah, I don't. I've never. I haven't seen him in person since that. No. Hmm. Uh. Okay. I mean, obviously, everyone's gonna say yes, but yeah, it's obvious. I'm not going to that shit. <laughs> you guys don't understand. It will ruin the rest of my year. <laughs> I went to the streamies. And they sat me in the back, and it ruined the rest of my year. I don't know. I think you're overestimating it. I think you do well with people in person. Oh, as definitely. By, by, by this podcast, how many like people always have you exaggerating with? about himself? Yeah, come onto the show, and you guys always wind up being allies. Maybe this is an opportunity. I think we need to have a rally outside the streamies and storm them. To if we don't win, we are going to. Who's the vice president? Who's the president of streamies? We need to make sure that he special? does not certify the vote. Oh, okay. Okay. Otherwise, if I don't win, it's rigged. Let me tell you that right now. Yeah, I mean, it is. It's rigged. We love you. And we will Very storm special. the streamies if we must. They got I mean, great, great cheesecake. You haven't stopped yeah, talking about that cheesecake. Good cheesecake. He loved that cheesecake. I do love cheesecake. Chrissy I'll Sherlock, love you, by the way. She says, my dad watches the pod for the first time this weekend. Loves you guys already. Big shout out to the family. Shout Big Tom. Dad. Love dad. that dad. It's just alone. Big daddy. Love dad this watch. This is my first rodeo. If you have a dad that can watch this show, you really won in life, I think. Oh, my dad watches. Shout dad. out, dad. I know your dad is good. I know. Dad. I just know it. I never met him, but I just know it. His dad is a fan. I love I say, hey, dance, dad. <laughs> Hi, girl. <laughs> love your work on Muppets or whatever. What do you do? Dad. Yeah, Muppets. Muppets. Love your work on that. Yeah. Your son is fantastic, by the way. We love him. 
What a great guy you've grown up. I mean, terrific job. Dan is the queen. You can't do nothing wrong. Dan is the queen. <laughs> so there it is. We're not winning. Uh, Why would Dan, I go if I Dan. know I'm not winning? Do you want me to see? Because now that I have like a team of people, yeah. do you want me to see if my managers can like get more intel? Yeah. Okay. You think that she can? Intel on what? If we're going to win or not? <laughs> she like, I'll no. tell you right now, we're not. Yeah, we're not. But hey, uh, hey, all, hey, all I ask, hey. Well, what is if the, you okay. keep talking like that, R we definitely aren't winning. <laughs> we, we're not manifesting it, if I, <laughs> hey. if I say that. Um, wh what is the uh, procedure for the voting? Like, what? how? how is Dude, the winner it's determined? a black box. That's why they're so corrupt. And that's why... There's I, no transparency. And that's why I think there's no shot. There's no Absolute shot. no transparency. Yep. The and the streamies are the best and most notable and reliable <laughs> awards show so that, that YouTube has ever seen, at least. Nice try, Olivia. I fuck, they fucking <laughs> suck. She's trying, you know, you win more um, with, the, with the honey. You know, the one thing that I will not be able to tolerate is if they give uh, Scam Paul the award. Because at least I don't think they will. And Paul it's said it's gonna be Jay Shetty. Maybe Call Her Daddy. I'd say Call Her Daddy won last year, which is why I say possibly Call Her Daddy. And guess who didn't show up? Her, because she has fucking integrity. They call them <laughs> dumps. You know? Wait, do we know that she wasn't there? I don't think she was there to accept that dumb shit. How do you know? Because she's the Call Me Daddy girl. She's got stuff to do. Was she there, Ian? And so one of there was. No, she wasn't there. I don't. Okay, know. all right. Ethan. I'm saying. Logan Paul's probably not there. there. He's it. too busy for that shit. There you have it. All right. We'll see. Uh, Ela's, <laughs> Ela's inquiring now. She's a big shot. <laughs> okay, this was great, you guys. Uh, the metal slide. This thing's actually been going super viral. Uh, the Boston that? slide, where the, can the cop came catapulting out. Have you seen this, Ela? No. This is in Boston. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. What? And so we were- what the fuck? Okay. Okay. God damn it. I'm not logged in, by the way. Before everyone tries to accuse me of having a weird feed. This is just a random thing, okay? Fuck you. So. We're like, how did that possibly happen? Okay. And we said, fans who live in Boston, go to the slide experiment show us and we already got some really good results uh here is um some family members uh who went down there okay that i mean that was a far cry from what happened to the cop yeah. though but she was definitely yeah she definitely hit the ground uh running here's one where it looks like a torture device. This one was very thorough. <laughs> and I thank them for this. We're here to try out the infamous metal slide. She has to climb a jungle gym first. It's so ominous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You think so dangerous, the hell? Okay. All right, go, go. Oh my God, I'm so scared. <laughs> You're telling me Theodore is almost old enough to go on this? Dude, he would. I would not put him on that thing. Yeah. I try not to be like a helicopter parent, but... <laughs> what? So hers was... Oh. It like wasn't what? that serious. Uh, so I like, think what's happening that. here... People are exaggerating? I think it's a fabric it's thing. Ah. So uh, 100% yeah. So high up. You have to crawl that cop up did not exaggerate. His ass came out like a cadaver. <laughs> no, he did something. <laughs> well, I don't know what, but... <laughs> I want to recreate the conditions that caused that. He had to have, like, jumped and, like, whacked himself. Or, it, it, he had to have done something. Cam, I don't go understand. home. Go home, Cam. Can we get you on one of those, Ethan? Yeah, we do. Have I would love to do a full analysis yeah. on that. But, like, <laughs> what did he do? He's a corpse. He comes out straight up. He's also in his tummy. Why is that? He got fucking spot. His ass was just getting thrashed. <laughs> There's no shot. Dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Look at this shit, dude. I can't stop. <laughs> oh, I think... I don't remember who said it. Maybe it was Cam. Someone had a good theory. Too greasy. That pig was too fucking greasy. Yeah, gross. Yeah. The reverse shot is pretty good, too. Someone made a reverse. Here in the top. Under B. 
Here's what it looks like in reverse. I don't know if this reveals anything about it, but uh, let's, let's analyze. <laughs> <laughs> there is some real funny stuff, like my bo a boba pearl right before yeah. I suck it up my straw. <laughs> Yeah, this is so strange, cuz... <laughs> How did you do that? That's like a Twin Peaks scene right there. Mm -hmm. Alright. I don't know if it, a person in this uniform would be trying to make, like, viral content, you know? Cuz I'm thinking, like, they could be trying to exaggerate just for the video. Dude, he slammed his head. He was dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How could he fake that? So here's what I, I'd ask more fans who are in Boston. Try, if you can, to recreate the conditions. Go wear some slippy ass, you know, clothes, a Refle ski suit, something like that. A reflective vest. A reflective vest. I think nylon is probably the ticket, right? Slick stuff. Neat yeah. stuff. Cool stuff. <laughs> so there it is. Thank you to all the uh, fans out there putting in uh, the investigative reporting that we yeah. need. Uh, good news for everybody at home and here in the office. New scooter video just dropped. Wow. It's been a while. Unfortunately, we missed the beginning, but he was clearly being a menace. This guy was on the phone with the police. He said he's being threatened by a man in a wheelchair. I got assaulted, he said. He's coming back to finish oh. the job. <laughs> and I, what, again, what I love about this, and will people, uh, you know, Scooter people in general. Look how he's just so... He's so resigned to this fall. He doesn't move his body, he doesn't try to fight it. He can't. He, he goes down with the shit. Watch this. Like, <laughs> you would expect some resistance, some panicking. No, he knows what time it the is. The sound he makes. It's not the first time. Is what really gets me. Yeah, the sound is great. Well, he's got a... Oh, so he... he he fell off the sidewalk, and that's what did him dirty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just starts walking away, the other dude. I think he's turning his back oh, to him because he's laughing. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> he totally is. Just leave him there, bro. Yeah, the cops on their way. Someone will find him. He's staying put. It's perfect. Yeah. Shout out to the scooter folks of the world. We love them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there it is. Rejoice. Kai has been arrested. So that was not oh So God. that is not a, a warranted uh video game influencer was in custody after a giveaway in New York City erupted. Spokesman mm, spokesperson for the New York City Police Department confirmed that Kai Sinet uh, is in law enforcement custody. Oh my god. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> wow. so, so he definitely didn't have a permit. I mean, Could it or be like, maybe even with the permit they need to, because they, if don't... they're responsible for containing the crowd, it's possible. Yeah. Could it be like just forced custody, like not necessarily like that he did something illegal just to get him out of there? In custody? That yeah. sounds like he's being detained. But maybe you're right. Direct quote from Big Tom, Chris, they just said my name. Yay, Ethan and Ela, congrats on the pregnancy. Tom, this man is a, is a fucking fan for one, after one episode. That's uh, Chrissy's oh, big dad, Tom. Big Tom. Yo, that's oh. just Tom. Yay. Big Tom, you want to call in? Let's get Big call Tom on the in. phone. This is my guy. We need to <laughs> talk to Big Tom. I need I guess, to know uh, this person. Chrissy, if uh, you're in the Discord, reach <laughs> out. I must to talk to Big We're Tommy. We're calling boy. you. So Chrissy, here, wake up. <laughs> oh, this is him being arrested. Oh shit. Okay. That's what I saw before. I mean, oh dude, God. they have helicopters out. Do you know how expensive that is? In this video, it kind of looks like they're just trying to score him, like, uh, love saying to safety, perhaps. Maybe. I don't know. And to stop the riot. Yeah, the article actually does say it's not immediately Sniper, clear if he had been arrested or detained. Additional I, details I weren't before. available. He, he doesn't mm -hmm. look like he's being arrested in this. Mm -hmm. That guy actually seems to be giving him pats on the back and stuff. And yeah. he also posted it on his Insta story. Yeah, he's I, how long ago? I don't think he's. It arrested. was like right a few minutes after this tweet had come out. Okay. Hmm. He yeah, whole, hard to tell what's happening. I, I don't think he was arrested. You know, but 
Uh, they, the facts are still developing, friends. This is the big... Oh, Shredder, are you done? Yeah, this is a big moment. Did he finish? I th think Lena is talking to the vet right now. <laughs> Shredder, he gets so scared when the vet's here. Oh, he so poor guy. They take blood from him, oh, and they do it in his no, chest. He needs that. In his chest? Yeah, they to put a fat needle in his chest oh. to get the blood out. It's like, ooh. No. Poor boy. Like he that. does so good. He's a hero. So Shredder what? Klein is my hero. <laughs> He'll be just like MLK one day. Yep. Sure of it. Um What's next? We got uh Zuck. The Zuck. The Zuck, dude. I don't really I mean, so I guess Zuck has a McDonald's order. I'm making meats now. Smoking these meats. Wait, here. what? Twenty nuggets. Okay. You know what? I don't care, Zuck. <laughs> McDonald's pay me if you want me to read that dumb shit. <laughs> Don't care. Uh, let's see. This was a wild ride. Um, tell me what do you think about this? What am I watching? This man just ditched his child. Up there. He just gave his child to God. And then walked away. What? <laughs> Didn't even look, he looked back once, but he's out. That's great, man. That kid is totally not traumatized. I what love this video. What is happening? Yes, barefoot. Barefoot legend, he doesn't, yep. What is he doing? I don't like watching it. The kid uh, is the new Jesus. It's just yeah. Jesus 2, bro. Yeah, it's just Jesus 2 just dropped. It's a game of capture the flag. Jesus 2.0 just dropped, y'all. Update. And everyone just accepts it. It's like, yeah. Oh, okay. Jesus. Update, yeah. this one's cuter. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh what is this ceremony? Do we have Why any... Do we have to oh. get them there? Okay, so, is it, so the only information I was able to find is that it's in Spain. And um, that it, it's uh, some ceremony about... Okay, hey, hold on. My, it, my lap... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. My bad. Go ahead. So it's uh, uh, for some ceremony honoring Virgin Mary and it's fairly common for people to want to get close to the effigy of Mary to I don't know get the blessing uh, here it is I let, uh, this, per this person says for anyone confused is what's happening here there's mm -hmm. a tradition in Spain where the more fanatical worshippers send babies and children over crowds so that they will touch the virgin. There you go. The idea being that physical proximity will make the virgin protect them in future life. How about you protect them now? <laughs> you know, you already failed. Maybe Virgin Mary will be will do better than you. Uh, religion's so weird. Um, for anyone shocked, do not look up Spanish tradition of jumping over babies. I need that now. We need that. No. That sounds like something we probably no, can't show. No, no, no. Well, here, don't switch to it, but I just sent some photos of it. You think it might be too fucked up? <laughs> oh, well, well. It's just sort of air Jordan. Look at this, Eva. That's awesome, bro. I'm going to open it. No, no one gets hurt. These are professionals, obviously. Don't do this. <laughs> Professional babies. Professional babies. Like, don't do this, okay? You know what I mean? Like, what? don't do that. <laughs> Oh my god. This is <laughs> <laughs> That's a high stakes game of Mario. Holy shit. Now, can you do me a favor? Has a has a baby ever been injured in this? No, we don't These need to know. Babies know how to be babies better than all the other babies. We don't need to know Just, that. They today. know what they're doing. Because there's got to be one time at least where everyone was laughing and this dude just face planted on a baby. Or I mean Yahoo! foot planted. I right, listen, I don't want to think about it, but Local I, said there are no records of babies Really? Have never been harmed during the jumping portion of the festival. Yeah, they're not reporting that shit. <laughs> Although <laughs> the jumping portion? What about the other portions? <laughs> well, I think that jumping over <laughs> babies portion is the one that people are concerned. I mean, that's that's pretty good air. Oh, and the parents are there, so if he's about to land, they might be able to what the body him. <laughs> to what? Well, you could. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good air. Why well, they got dudes in capes? The line of dudes a lot of questions. They got fucking style oh, over the, in uh, Spain, dude. Yeah. Chill, bro. They're the counts. <laughs> it's the counts. One, two, three, five. Batty, batty. How's that go? The count song. One, two, Something, three. Uh, dance. Oh, and that one. Yeah, yeah. it's a sick ass <laughs> Sesame Street song. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. The videos yeah. are fucking wild. I gotta Holy see shit. that. I don't want pictures. I want. I want to see that. But this guy's a lunatic. I mean, this is next level on top of everything. 
it, that poor child. Mm-hmm. I, uh, that kid looks like maybe two. Yeah, that's pretty durable, low key. Like he just stays. Yeah. He could have fallen easy. Yeah, I, I agree. I think watch it. Look, it's kind of shaking around. Watch and stuff. it first. Like He's I think maybe he that is a type of Jesus. I think that, we should worship this power. kid. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, he's ho- yeah, he's pretty durable. He's pretty steady. Yeah, that's what they say. I think about Je- Jesus was steady. Yeah. All right, babies. Oh, I love their outfits. <laughs> Little legends out here. He is so cool. He's so cool. All right, well, they got a nice little mattress. Uh-oh, here come the jumpers. <laughs> that guy's looking middle-aged. I need a younger jumper. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> that guy's... I want my baby jumper spry. So, is this what tradition looks like? Because I don't know anything Whoa. about tradition. This stuff. is just a Fortnite lobby, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. That's In Europe, they, they brag about their history and their traditions and their how they have... I mean, this is what you're talking about? It looks fun. Nice angle. Mm, yeah. Baby point of view. Wonder, wonder baby point. POV. <laughs> yeah, the baby POV. <laughs> wonder if they have a GoPro on the baby. Yeah. The neighbors. This dude's in like one of the mar- He caught like a feather or something and turned into a baby jumper. <laughs> Woo! That was a little hot. That was a weak jump. Dude, he bro. almost skimmed their face, bro. You mm-hmm. better be hopping more baby. than that, brother. Yeah, and some of these babies <laughs> can sit up. Like, what if they just happen to get up at that moment? Bro, you better jump like your life depends there on it. Goes. I don't like... Bro, that guy's sitting up. He's shaving it too close, in my opinion. This is very interesting. I've never heard of this. Kobe. Oh. That would be fire if there was a rim behind them. <laughs> Dunking. <laughs> Dunk on them. What now, babies? <laughs> the fuck you up? Let's Americanize this tradition. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying, though? You know, Americans don't have tradition, they say. I'll jump a baby. I mean, what the fuck? That's it. You guys been around for thousands of years, and this is you got the jumping the baby. That's what you guys came up with. Oh, thanks to this guy. Apparently, it's his footage. Appreciate you. Shout out, fearless, fearless and, and far, fearless and far. You know, the babies look like they're having fun though. Yeah. yeah. Till they get stomped on. Curb stomp, which babies. never happened. It's apparently. never so. happened. After that, there they let, let the cows loose and they like just r- jump over. Say what? <laughs> <laughs> the running of the bulls. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Yeah. the bull comes yeah, right yeah, after yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's tradition. <laughs> yeah, that's tradition. Don't they do that in Spain too? You're they telling do. me. Yeah. You're telling me in the thousands of years they've been doing that shit, ain't no baby got curb stomped. Ugh, that's horrible to say. <laughs> I don't, uh, well, it didn't I mean, start you know thousands why it of years never ago. Happened because God did. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. He's, they're protecting. Um, 1620 is when the tradition Don't dates bring back. Out the whole ocean. Started as a melding of pagan and Catholic traditions, like most most of Christianity. Although its exact origins are unclear. That is it's pagan. Not officially sanctioned by the Catholic Church. I could jump those babies. I, I like want to see the Pope. Started, right? I want to see the Pope jump the babies. Oh, you gotta pay big money for that. All right. And we'd probably get an upskirt from the Pope if he jumped it with the <laughs> baby POV. <laughs> Bro, you know he's got some saggers too, man. Mad droopers. <laughs> like Bro. fucking Bro. next level. Anglo sweet chariots. <laughs> fucking A, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fucking Damn. jungle gym, dude. <laughs> Stop. You'd see those, his droopers probably falling right out the bottom of those, man. They might rub the babies on the face, which is not appropriate. Maybe the Pope jumping isn't a good idea. No, okay. Show us! No, 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 well. <laughs> no, 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 no. Y'all don't want to talk about those babies. Everybody stop. Go ahead, Zach, go ahead. No, everybody. Show us! China no! No, 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 no. That's why I hit show us. You get a little taste. I'm not hitting the full thing. That's vile, man. What's wrong with you, Zach? <laughs> You're unnoticed, <laughs> man. Um, here Why is. Why are we doing this? Because it's just sitting there. I know, I know. Well, okay, right. Let me work through this, and then we'll go to that. And we'll do. We can do the XQC thing afterwards, because nobody seems to give a fuck about that guy anyway. <laughs> I feel like anyone who's not one of his diehard fans literally is like, I cannot stand this guy. Charata. Have you noticed that? <laughs> Are you still a fan of his? And no judgment. I but. mean, w- I, w- I would enjoy his content. I don't watch him really. You can uh, enjoy his content. I can enjoy his content, yeah. 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 Alright. 
okay, well, one's one person dies, one person lives. Who do you yeah. choose? Yeah, <laughs> <and laughs> choose him. He dies. He dies. Thanks, bro. You pass. Excuse me, <laughs> he dies. You pass the test. Yeah. He dies. He dies. <laughs> did they put that question in your interview with the embassy? They did. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Do you plan to commit a terrorist act? They ask questions like that. Oh yeah. A bunch of us. Like, nope. Do you no plan plans. to carry out a biochemical attack on uh, millions of people? No. Any plans on a PS5 giveaway? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, love, I do have this recording. Uh, um, I support months. Jenna Sadly. Oh, no. <laughs> well, Dude. I don't remember them asking that question, so I think I'm good. Got it. Yeah. it has, well, I, I don't know, the embassy might need to hear that. <laughs> oh, oh, no, Cam dug up a... Uh, <laughs> the later part of that same ceremony. Yeah, oh my this God. is what I was scared of. <laughs> Wait, that's the same guy. Oh my God. Okay, you're telling me a baby's never been hurt? <laughs> oh, Cam, come on. No, come the Virgin on, Mary okay. protects him, dude. The Virgin Mary protects him. Okay. Well, Don't that's... believe the media. There's yeah. just babies everywhere. That is so fucked up. Get it together, Spain. Time to join the, the modern day. Hasta la vista, baby. Oh, literally. All right, so anyway, <laughs> um, this is a cool story that involves Post Malone. It's just like a weird thing. So Magic the Gathering made a Lord of the Rings collab card that was one of one. Oh. The one ring. You okay. Heard. And so this dude pulled it. His hands are shaking. <laughs> People were already trying to buy it before anyone even pulled it. Like the golden ticket. Wow. Really stuff. People were like, "All oh, I'm putting out an offer. There's only one card. One of one. Wow. And people were like, I'll give you half a million dollars straight up. Right out. <laughs> to whoever wow. gets a standing offer. But the person that actually ended up buying the card <laughs> is friend of the show. And, you know, last time we were with him, he's like heavily into Magic the Gathering. Yeah. He bought the fucking card from him for two million dollars. Oh, my God. Over two million. Oh my god. How cool is that? Wow. Millions! That's crazy. You better fucking... What's it gonna do with the card? Do you frame it? Do you play with it? No, you don't play with it. You frame it. <laughs> you definitely put it in a her her hermetic, hermetic seal. Something. That thing will age. That will appreciate for sure. You go back Probably. to Mordor to destroy it. Throw it in a lava. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's crazy. I doubt he'll ever sell that, too. Yeah. It's probably, like, gone from the market forever. Can you believe paying that much for a card? I think it's badass that he can <laughs> afford it, and he just did. <laughs> the story around it is so cool, too. You know. But he is really, like, he really loves Magic the Gathering, so. Mm -hmm. We have some uh, people here who love it, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I am not nearly as into it as I used to be, but when I was uh, a teenager, I played... Quite a bit. I had a fairly large collection, and I'll still play every once in a while. Uh, just uh, recently, uh, Ian got super into it, right? Mm -hmm. Like within the last year or two. I was playing it a bit. Sam has been playing the the mobile thing a lot too. Oh, I play oh. online. I really, I love it. It's so much fun. What's mm -hmm. your favorite card? I don't know. I don't know that much about it. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. I just thought that I'm might be a good question. I'm still learning. I'm doing like the. Um, there's like a whole beginning part of like tutorial stuff, so I'm still playing with like the training wheels on, but it's still really fun. That's great. I love it. Yeah, it seems fun. Well, there might be something cool happening. Okay, just say, say, <laughs> say something or no. I'll just say I really love it. <laughs> Would you put it on clothing? I could. I don't know. I could see that. <laughs> <laughs> Bet that'd be a good. That'd be a, that'd be a cool collection. Cause they have so much cool art. It'd be cool. It'd be so cool. Here we're moving on. The quartering is crying about what now? He's always crying about something. <laughs> if it's not his wife leaving for pizza without him, it's, you know, Barbie being too pink. Oh, Wait, now I, I must defend this. Ethan Klein. It is one of the most <laughs> difficult things I have to do. <laughs> Sorry to make you do that, brother. Look, I'm 40. I'm tired. I'm sweaty. I'm fat. I'm overweight. So the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie, yes, the one where with the turtles, uh -huh. they got transformed into humanoid ninjas. Yeah. Uh, so they made Splinter gay in the new 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle because is Splinter gay and is that even true? No, look look at the you write up okay? below. This like why would uh, according to director Jeff Rowe, scumbag is and always was a female cockroach. I'm really However, in one poster, marketing mistakenly referred to it as a himself. Wow. I had no idea. Wait, what does that have to do with Splinter? Splinter is not gay, guys. We have but being gay and being black is different. <laughs> we have to set the record straight here, guys. Splinter is not gay. Thank God. Love but, ya. What no is, homo. What does this cockroach have to do with Splinter being gay? The cockroach is uh, the love interest. Oh, Splinter fucks that thing? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> it, I haven't seen it yet, so I don't, I don't know. But uh, that, that's where this all came from was just okay, a, a so, mistake. Okay, so... So Splint, so Scumbag the Cockroach is a girl by canon. Yeah. This poster they actually wrote himself, and then mm -hmm. Quartering had a full-on meltdown about it. Because Which is of normal this? behavior. Yeah, just this yeah, post. Yeah, Splinter fucks this. About so. a drawing of a bug? He's just, yeah, Sorry, it says himself, and then so he, he had a meltdown about it. Yeah. No, uh, wow. Splinter, uh, Splinter is a rat. A rat and a cockroach is still pretty crazy, but what, better. Wait, hold on. If a male rat has sex with a male cockroach. Are we worried about the gender? That seems to transcend gender at that point. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's just yeah. interspecies relations. Yeah. I mean, that's a whole different ball game. Why aren't you offended by that? You're telling me a cockroach fucked a rat? That's yeah. completely different. Tell me more. I just I just hope Danny uh, Danny's in the movie. <laughs> he probably is okay uh, with bestiality as long as it's not male with male. That's right. No mm. gay bestiality. <laughs> Only hetero bestiality for quarter. Uh oh. <laughs> what a dumbass. This is literally the state of conservative media right now. Well, ah, I'm overweight. Hmm? Does he it I almost feel like he has to be trolling, but I, I He's I, not. I always tell myself that and he really is <laughs> Dude, he's just that dumb. So No, he's the real deal. He's Look, so funny. Yeah. <laughs> he is the real deal, boy. Um. <laughs> okay, that's funny picture. I have to give it up. That's my Michael. Uh, what's his name? Rappaport. Rappaport. Yeah. Rapp Michael Rappaport, who's always doing these uh, epic rants. Yeah. But there's this picture of him with a fat herpes sore. <laughs> that I guess everybody Rudy just posts. You nasty, filthy, sloppy, disgusting, filthy I mean, fucking animal. Listen, it happens to people. It's not. It's. it's you know what I mean? It's, it's unfortunate uh, when it does, but. It's I, out there. I Whoops. find the quartering so unbelievably humorous. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, he rules. Uh, yeah, I totally, totally agree. Olivia's got a soft spot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that man makes blueberry cobbler coffee. There's something <laughs> sweet happening. Yeah, I don't there's know. something with her that's so Go out of jail. Why do you care? How could a guy that <laughs> spends his whole free time playing claw machines and sending kids and toys to kids be a bad guy? Why do you care? Yeah. yeah. No, that's Why do you care? Okay, Chris, uh, 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 I'm just Tristan gonna keep eating this Tate. the whole show. What's his name? Tristan. Tristan Tate made a new TikTok alpha male edit about me. Oh, that's Now, oh. do we know for sure he's talking about me? So, this is from a fan channel and it was uploaded yesterday and yeah, it was called <laughs> uh, Tristan Calls Out H3. Does it have a lot of views? Uh, let me double check. 10 million views. See, it's a fan channel. I almost wonder if it's just deceptively edited. I'm just... Cause these, cause you the could do Tate it about brother... anyone. Right, these yeah. Tate brothers have a bajillion little drones that just post these videos all day on TikTok, so who knows. Um, but I got some traction, right? I do want to know how many views I got. Yeah. I'm always interested to know. At least, it doesn't, it, there's not me saying that I hate exercise in it, so that's a, I guess that's progress. I believe they actually just today, uh, I saw uh, their house arrest got lifted. So they're out, oh, they're on really? the loose. Hmm? The Tates. Oh, they got released. Yeah, I read it, but they From can't leave left. the city. Right. Yeah, they're uh, just they're not confined to their right. house anymore. They're still fucked. They're still fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They're definitely going to jail. Five K views. Oh, I guess my on. name just doesn't just, do, doesn't do what it used to for the them. The hate boner is it's faded. Mm. Shame. It's because you lost weight. Right. That might be it. That's right. Well, here's Tristan Tate apparently. Go out of jail and someone sent me some clips of some door laughing in the back where we were in jail. And I was like, I'm not in jail, he's in jail. Andrew Taint? This man's in jail rotting. So awesome. 
<laughs> He's sitting there online every day, glued to his podcast to make super chats to pay his bills. He's more in jail than I will ever be. I'm standing True. in my cell, muscular, fit, strong. My mind is free. My mind is open. Oh yeah, well you're on house arrest. I can go outside and do. This man literally said, "I'm free because I have muscles." Yay! <laughs> in jail. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, dude. No, I'm really struck. I'm really trapped. I'm imprisoned, man. Yeah. I just, I just want to say, mind is free. you're addressing Andrew, not Tristan. Yeah, nobody cares about yeah, Tristan. Yeah, he, he, you <laughs> never true. like. I don't think I've ever said Tristan <laughs> until this time. Yeah. So, I didn't even know how to say his name. Right. Uh, taint, but you know, <laughs> it, it's. He wants to be involved so bad. That's a good point. That's a true state. Yeah. Nobody it's, ever it's, even talks about you. Taint. This is feel bad you. for him. You're you know? just the brother of. Yeah, if your brother wants to make a compilation, I'll watch it, but who are you even? It's not your fault. I will ever- Did we see if this get claimed, by the way? Because it has a- Oh, there's no claim. No claim. Okay, great. For B, I'm standing in my cell, muscular, fit, it's and strong. My mind is free. My mind is open. Oh, yeah, well, you're on house arrest. I can go outside and do whatever I want. Whatever you want. What do you do? <laughs> Take a walk around the neighborhood? Oh, and I'm locked in my nine-bedroom mansion with my pool and my friend. Again, not talking about you. What? He goes- he goes, yo, you can go take a walk while I'm locked in my mansion. Yeah, what kind of a loser are you? With all my bros. That? By the way, okay, here. Friends of my chefs and my butlers with hundreds of thousands of people listening to me when I speak. Oh, you can go outside and do whatever you want. You can't do whatever you want. When I'm free, I can go on a private jet and go to Timbuktu if I want. I can do whatever Not I want. Not Timbuktu. You, don't know you can't do that. You can't. Able to do whatever. No, that's just actually completely false. Yeah, you can't leave Romania. You can't. Well, I mean, at the time you... of this recording, you couldn't leave your, the he premises. Can't leave. He can't even leave his house, actually. Right. right. All right. We'll so I see. don't know. I guess yeah. I mean, I guess you know there is a there is a kind of a metaphysical sense of freedom. I mean, when you think about like the Shawshank Redemption, when he was in sol solitary confinement, he was playing music in his head. They couldn't get to his mind, mm. and so maybe that's what he means. You know? Sure. So even though he cannot leave his house, yeah, his mind is free. His mind is free, and for, ours is not. My mind is not free. Because I'm fat, by the way, apparently. Oh, so it is a kind of a fat thing, too. Every day, glued to his podcast to make super chats to pay his bills. He's more in jail than Bro, I... Bro, do you even sex traffic? <laughs> That's what freedom is. ...will ever be. I'm standing in my cell. Muscular, fit, strong. My mind is free. My mind is open. Oh, yeah. Bro, you literally just spent 75% describing free as being strong. Mm-hmm. Anyway, whatever. Tate, a uh, trait, uh, whatever you're fucking... Tristan... I mean, nobody cares, man. Put your brother on the phone. <laughs> nobody wants to talk to you. It is what it is. Um, okay, Joe Rogan has completely lost his fucking mind. Let's go. No, no, no. This is <laughs> this is the. I think he's he's fully gone over the edge. <laughs> I want to see you. This is rock bottom. I mean, I don't, do you agree, Dan? You saw this clip, right? Yeah. <laughs> To be honest, I, this doesn't seem any worse than what he's been for the last, like, two years. I don't I know. Like. I, I, I've never heard him say this shit so explicitly. Before we watch, actually, I have a question. Are you guys getting hungry? Because I hear Dan chewing on chips. Dan's munching chips. I'm here eating sour candy. <laughs> what are you feeling? I'm kind of hungry. Cam's hungry, I know that. I feel this. He's disappearing, my god. Um... Oh, oh shit, no. we just lost power. Is the stream still up? Whoa. Chat is still happening. For me. We lost half of the power. Hmm. Uh, it's looking to me like we're still live. Wow. That's oh. epic. So I guess we got lucky on that one. Huh. Legend. So we're good? We're up? Uh, it's looking like I'm it's working yeah. to confirm. Still up we're good. Yeah, it looks like all the backups worked. Legend. It's a hot day out here in Los Angeles. <laughs> Did it come back on? It's a rainy day out here in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, definitely. It didn't even blip. It's the matrix. Okay, yeah, we're up. Yeah. Nice. I did it, folks. Good. So that was your backup power? Yeah. All the backups worked? Yeah. Yo, yes. Damn. Just, Save the day. Just redid it, too. <laughs> That's yeah, badass. we just redid it when we moved everything around. Hmm. So, Great. Are you guys tired of Taco Bell yet, or are we still in? Listen, whatever you want, you're preg, you're the pregnant one. I'll follow your lead. You want to TB? 
Really? Ela. <laughs> Holy shit. Ela, oh, yeah. she turns into a completely different person <laughs> when she's pregnant. Like, yeah. she, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. You want Taco Bell? Let's go right now, dude. I guess just message who wants to take the point on that. Oh, so just message to Sam, I guess, in the group chat. All right. What is white Lizzo? Sorry, I have to click this. <laughs> what? That's uh, trending. Get, yeah, just in case. Oh, I gotta Keep be. Keep in mind you're on Twitter. Oh, is it Chris Christie? I believe it is Chris Christie. Why? <laughs> I mean, I can. I only. Okay, I don't see a lot of similarities between them except one. Yep. So. Mm. All right, here's Joey. Violet, you're turning violet, Violet. Uh, with the craziest take I've heard. Yeah. And the people that, that love him. Trump, they feel like this is a witch hunt. And they feel like all the things he's getting indicted for are bullshit anyway. It does, it not only does it not work, but it kind of hardens their position mm -hmm. that he's being targeted. And that this is, these are like the, the actions of a banana republic. You take your political rival and you arrest him. And specifically, you charge him with things that you're fucking guilty of. I, I don't disagree. The optics of it is pretty crazy. Like, from the outside. But, like, Trump is a psychopath. I don't even know huh? if I agree. That I the mean, optics of, a, of arresting your political opponent? In, it's not a good situation. In a situation. functioning society, like, politicians get arrested. Yeah. It's, it's you know good, what I mean? Like, I, to me, it's more banana republic that you can fucking try and overthrow the government and, and get away with it. And nobody does anything. And what does ban trust, banana republic even mean, by the way? Well, it's in a reference to all of the Central American countries. And that's here's another layer of irony, is the banana republics are, you know, like Honduras and Guatemala and all these countries that were largely... Uh, their entire economy was like fruit, bananas, uh, and the American fruit companies came in and were basically running the country by just like bribing all the officials, and it was like super corrupt. So the banana republics, we we made those, you know what I mean? Like the the thing that was corrupt about them, the corrupting influence was U.S. business interests, and so um, so it's a small man or it's like a manipulable corrupt government. Right. That and the United so, States specifically so that, has created. Right. So there's a little Ooh. bit of irony in, in calling, you know, that's like a parent being people like are, people. Corruption is actually being prosecuted. That makes us a banana republic. It, it's to me, it's like it's the exact fucking opposite of that. So I can see why from their perspective, it looks like that. Right. Even though what you're saying is tr objectively the truth. Right. right? Uh, it's not a good situation, but it is what it is. I get what he, you're right, that he has somewhat of a point with like, yeah, I mean, he's correct that it's definitely hardening the opinions of all the people he, that think he did, he did nothing wrong and they indicted him. Yeah, he did everything right. He he's speaking everything to right. his audience and like, they're all like, dude, he's indicted three times. Like to them, it's just becoming a joke. But Joe Rogan is a fucking moron. I mean, his brain is made of ground beef at this point and egg yolk. I did everything right, and they indicted me. <laughs> I don't think there's anything left in that nut. In that he's just, <laughs> just like a human, like like walnut. They'd crack him open and just release the nut. I don't know what that means. <laughs> sometimes I just talk, and <laughs> yeah. figure it out as we sometimes. go. Yeah, some, but sometimes it just goes off the rails. Um, oh, Tate gave a, a press so what speech. What did he say again? I, I, we have I'll breaking start. news. Okay. I'll, I'm gonna play it out. Yeah. Okay. In the jail cell. The media reported and told the world I was a terrible person. They said that I hurt people and I make a lot of money from criminal enterprise. And here we stand seven or eight months later and I've lost a single victim on the news. I don't know if you have. Sorry? What? You said, well, here we are seven and eight minutes later, and, or years later, or months later, and what? Here we stand seven or eight months later and I've lost a single victim on the news. I don't know if you have. The fuck did he say? Uh, I don't know. Clicking from the cameras is too loud. I see lots of girls sticking up for me, lots of people defending me. I'm the girls sticking up for me? Stand up and say that I have hurt them, not one. It's very exhausting. Ugh, boring. Nobody cares. Who gives a shit? Fuck you. I've heard it you suck. times. Yeah, you're going Still to jail. Still waiting to hear from your lawyer, Andrew. I'm right, I'm you know, aren't I supposed to be being sued by him? Yeah, mm -hmm. like a year ago. No updates. It's so funny, because this was before he got arrested. They said, you're calling my client a sex trafficker, and that's defamation. <laughs> and we demand that you retract and erase all the content. And then, six months later, what Not was even. he arrested? Remember, it was like a month later that yeah. he got arrested. Uh, so what, I mean, he was arrested for human trafficking. 
<laughs> now, can I defame somebody who was arrested for the for the crime that I alleged they did? I don't think so. Why not? That's like if I said Bill Cosby's a rapist. And his oh. lawyer said, don't say that about our boy. <laughs> you know? Crime. All right, back to Joe. Love Trump? They feel like this is a witch hunt. And they feel like all the things he's getting indicted for are bullshit anyway. Indicted. Not only does it not work, but it kind of hardens their position that he's being targeted. <laughs> and that this is, these are like the, the actions of a banana republic. You take your political rival and you arrest him. And specifically, you charge him with things that you're fucking guilty of. Like the, the, the documents. Like the, it, it, It's sad that Joe Rogan is such a moron. And, and like if he's saying something like this this open, because he's one of these guys that becomes a prisoner to his audience. The, he's he's spe speaking what they all feel. Mm -hmm. Obviously, yeah, I mean, we've. it doesn't take that long to figure out what's the difference between the two. The difference is uh, the Library of Congress asked Joe Biden for the documents and he immediately returned them. Mm -hmm. Okay. They asked Trump three times. They subpoenaed him. He never released it. He was obstructing and not returning it. I mean, what the fuck? There's a difference, dude. A moron, man. The classified documents? Biden's guilty of the exact same issue. You, you gotta respect Oh, and the... then it's this fucking guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's another conservative uh, podcaster. A level of deception. Oh, he invited me on his show, didn't he? Yeah, he's invited me on his show many times, actually. Oh, he has? No, I'm not You made me defend this dude. I'm not doing that shit. Fuck you. <laughs> actually, the reason I don't go on, uh, to be fair, it's they, t they get really in the weeds with politics, and that's just not my thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, wish you the best there, Bado. That's been used. I mean, you, look at what Hillary did, going and saying, hey, it's Russia, but it was really, you know, what she was doing, and now they're... Uh Mm -hmm. uh, can you repeat that? Look what Hillary did. She was saying it's Russia, but it's what she really did. Oh, okay. And in order to comprehend, you're gonna have to break some. <laughs> I got you. Comprehend. <laughs> you to comprehend and to eat the uh, the, the, the omelet right. of knowledge. You're gonna right. have to break those eggshells. Yeah, and right. incidentally, okay. Preach was actually more coherent than yeah. uh, this guy right now. I mean, you, look at what. But yeah, he, Sam Cedar went on his podcast and <laughs> destroyed him, of course. Hillary did, going and saying, hey, it's Russia, but it was really, you know, what she was doing. And right. They're using a similar play as well. Right. <laughs> How much <laughs> election fraud do you think is real? Here we go, Joe. Oh, somebody oh said go God. on Jesse you Peterson. You want to talk about election fraud? Dude, wait. Somebody said go on Jesse Peterson. I would, th I think I would go on his show. I love him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's sure. the, he, oh, you're gay? It's, it's almost gay? like I would love to go on a show. It's so off the walls crazy. I'm good. I'm genuinely a fan of his in like a weird, morbid, fucked up way. But that's that's why everyone. He, he's the best. Yeah. Let's begin. <laughs> you want to go to election fraud? Yeah, because I don't think it's zero. Uh, no, amazing. it's no not way. zero. I think we could all agree. Based on what? We can Joe? all agree. Well, we've got time. How long is this podcast? Three, four hours? Go ahead, explain that. No way it's not zero. And we know that these voting machines can be fucked with. Yeah. And no. Didn't you, I mean, there was a whole lawsuit. Yeah, no. Dominion literally won $800 million from Fox News. Yeah. Just like six months ago for saying this. There's, I don't think there is any evidence that uh, voting machines in a national election have been tampered with, right? I mean, I don't think that's ever happened. Know you know that there's some irregularities, uh, all that that Carrie Lake stuff in Carrie Arizona Lake. that they're trying to dismiss. It doesn't look like that's invalid. It look Carrie Lake is like the nuttiest fucking MAGA weirdo that was did so many recounts and just kept losing and losing and <laughs> losing. And he's out here talking about how her election was stolen. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Looks like there's real fraud there. Amazing. It looks like there's some real shenanigans there. At the very least, there was voting machines that weren't working properly. Really? And it seems very suspicious that a lot of them were in Republican areas. There's a lot of shenanigans. The a, oh my God. And I think there's coordinated efforts 
to make sure that certain people get elected. Yeah, it's called the it's called the DNC and the RNC, dummy. Wow. I don't know. To me, that was shocking. Yeah, it to, is kind of shocking to come out with the mm -hmm. election fraud that brazenly. Yeah. Just me, I guess. And you. All right. Let's do the t the candy tier list. And then Let's we'll circle back to the oh. XQC stuff. Is there any setting up for it? Because I kind of need to go potty. You go to the bathroom. Okay. You got a bunch of super chats Did I could read. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. You, okay. You take care of that. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, Dan, we got Dan. Nancy's uh, 22nd birthday. I don't know how to use Discord. Well, sorry, we can't play anything for you. Jeez. How about that, Nance? Hey, Nancy. Happy birthday. 22. All right. Oh, I had the wrong name. I'm sorry. It's a Flesk Burger that turned 20. Uh... No, Flesk. Nancy also. Okay. Sorry. There's a lot of birthdays here. <laughs> I got you, Nancy. Flesh Burger's 22. Nancy's 27. 27? So we're gonna get a... Hold. You get a little uh, 27 there. Thank 27. you. 27? Uh, this person is turning 20. No more! Fuck. I... Can we, can we have a... T can we just have an open discussion about this? And I, and I don't want people to feel bad, but like... The birthday, like, shout out. Now, are you also t over it? Or are you with Zach or against Zach right now? I, I'm, I personally <clears throat> am over it. And Zach, but I understand why people get excited, and I don't, I don't want to to crush their dreams or make them feel bad. But it's just like I have so many people DMing their fucking it's drivers. So many. Life. Like I'm looking through <laughs> the super chats right now. It's all like, can I get a birthday shout out? Can I get a birthday shout out? I, okay, so that, frankly, no. Let, no, let, you can't. Let <laughs> Let me break this down. It was funny that the the history of the birthday shout out has a good, fun, illustrious history. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Aiden Ross on yeah, 21 okay. Fuck You. You know, and then we started making people give their IDs. And then Aiden Ross, we got Aiden Ross AI to say the, all the numbers. Right. So we, have we, have we exhausted the joke? Let's jump the, the shark. Joke over. Let's Let's jump, jump the, the shark. shark a little bit. Jump the shark. Are you sure? Because and, and, I and wonder if there's birthday. another chapter. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, I do wish you a happy birthday, but... <laughs> Dude, I got a, a 65 year old in uh, a, D, a DM yesterday. Sent me a picture of her driver's license. <laughs> That's I'm like, amazing. Steal her identity. I'm bro. like, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like you you just, just the disclaimer. Be careful when you're sending that shit out. But yo, like, let's go to Chase and open an account. Four, yeah. five, six, seven, eight. And I feel bad because uh, these people they donated, and oftentimes it's a lot. Like twenty dollar donation here, ten dollar donation. So uh, like twenty, I don't, they gotta send more. Bro. I don't want to shit on you for this. <laughs> But it's just getting to be too much. Okay, so, too much. so let's just say this so people don't waste money and be disappointed that we don't do the birthday wish. <laughs> so here we're going to do one big giant birthday wish for everybody. <laughs> wow. A big old happy <laughs> birthday to every single one of you guys. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to try something here. I'm just I'm going to go through the numbers starting at 20. So this is the this is the final Ride. This is the final countdown. This is the last one, and everybody savor it what? and save it. Save the soundbite and play it for yourself when you're. Yeah, you know, if you, you, you you're want... gonna cry, Olivia. Yeah, we do this all the time. See, my my is question. Is this too mean? I'm, no, I'm it's really not trying mean. to be reasonable here. Like, no, just I, sentimental. I, uh, right. Yes. I think it's more exciting to keep the potentiality open. Send us your money, <laughs> and we might do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see, love. I understand your point, Let's but actually, I do. I don't. I feel bad that people actually do that. So go ahead, Zach. We're gonna do right. like our final salute. I'm I'm gonna start at 21, <laughs> and that's going to be it. Can you get? Can you do me a favor? Yes. You know how like um, military funerals they shoot guns in the air. Uh, 21 guns. So salute. do the number and then the fire the rifle. Um, okay. Number fire the rifle. We're retiring. We're burying <laughs> it. <laughs> Dan, do you want to help me with the gun then, sound? Okay, here? sure. Okay. I'll do the gun. Then, uh, can yeah, you we'll, do? We'll do a little back and forth here. And then if you could play some patriotic kind of funeralish music. You want music. Like, like drumming shit? Like no, no, no. Like uh, it's probably on a saxophone or so, you know, like there's kind of a hymn. A hymn. Uh, like maybe taps. You know, like a glory. <laughs> hmm. Caps the, the memorial. Just the memorial. Just yeah, the memorial. Absolutely. Funeral music. You'll find something good. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start at 21. Hold on. 
We got the music. The gunshots. Hold on. Pulling uh, it up. We're not ready, Zach. This While is... we're waiting on that, Olivia, your birthday present what? just came. What do you mean? Yeah. From the... oh. oh my god, thank you so much. Thank you. AV and Lena got me literally the coolest Barbie Crocs you've ever seen in your life. They were the most <laughs> me shoes I've ever seen. Can't wait for everyone else to see them. In that bag? No, no, they gave those to me over the weekend. Oh, that's so nice. I know. That's cute. Barbie Crocs. Dan, is it okay if Olivia has a, a quick birthday moment? Uh, oh, yeah, right. of course it's, it's okay. Loud? Okay, okay, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. You have to pay, though. <laughs> Why are you asking Dan? That's okay, I got that. Because Dan was canceling birthdays. I'm not canceling <laughs> all birthdays, okay? Oh, let's go! This is awesome. This is the um, the dad from Twilight. Are you sure that's not for AV? <laughs> <laughs> it's what? a very unique... It seems like an AV shirt. We both love Twilight. That's fire. I love that spread. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I love this. I can't wait to wear it. No problem. Okay, so um, do we have the music? Do you think the death bell would work good? Like, do you think that? I can pull. Here, let me pull something up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That's it. No, that was me. I'm looking for a good 21 gun salute sound effect. Green Day. I'm looking for the gun line. Guys, bear with us. This is important to do right. Obviously, as we memorialize the birthday wishes, we want to, you know, eulogize them properly and send them on their way. Of course. In the most respectful way possible. Of course, of course, of course. With peace and love, no more birthdays. This is a serious message to everybody <laughs> donating right now. With peace and love, I want to tell you, please, after August 4th, no more birthday wishes and no numbers to be said. I think we need some, like, bagpipes. Yes, Dad. I think we should. You're not finding anything good there, Dan? Well, I found, I found the gunshots. I'm ready with the gunshots. All right, let okay. me find music. Funeral. I'll, I'll find one. We're going to collaborate on this. <laughs> okay. Just hopefully I this doesn't get claimed. That I don't know. <laughs> don't do it. But it's worth it. Is it? Probably not. Here it is. Go ahead. 21. Fuck you. 22. Fuck you. 23. Fuck you. 24. Fuck you. 25. 26. We're burying them all. Last one. 42. That was not Ian Ross, whoever said that number. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Been a good meme, but sometimes you have to bury the jokes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes <laughs> the jokes overstay their welcome, mm -hmm. and we must bury them in the graveyard. With all the heroes, the fallen, you know, patriots from before them. Zero. And so with that being said, with peace and love, no more One. birthday wishes, please. Two. After August 4th, Three. no sounds to be said, Four. nothing. Five. So peace and love, peace and love, Six. no birthday wishes. Thank you, thank you. Seven. And happy birthday. And happy, yeah. One happy birthday. That's the last birthday, birthday ever. Many happy more. birthday. Hey. All right, thank you. That was good. I feel I feel light now. I feel like I feel like light refreshed. Yeah, yeah. therapy. We needed to grieve like that. We needed to grieve to right. move on. <laughs> All right, let's do some sour candy. Yes. All right, so here's the goal of this. Okay. As I as I stated in the beginning, this all started from Phase Rugs bullshit 
candy, ch sour mm -hmm. candy challenge. This was marketed as the most sour thing in the world. The challenge was to put it in your mouth and hold it there for like 30 seconds without making a face. So we all went in like, this is going to be crazy. It yeah. wasn't. It wasn't at all, in fact. And we're like, these probably warheads are, 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 more spite, are more sour. By the way, this was $20. That's part of what was such a scam about this. <laughs> um, so, there's not even a QR code to win like... <laughs> Tesla. 10 bucks or something. Yeah, Tesla. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. We are rating these candies not on taste or mm. enjoyment. Okay. Solely only on sourness. Okay. We are trying to figure out who is the king of the sour candies. And also, I'm really curious to see where this shakes out. Yeah. This Me supposed too. sour challenge. Right. A $20 warhead, essentially. Okay. <laughs> and so with all that being said, oh, and then finally, the finale, of course, is Sam's homemade yeah. sour candy. That's right. Which we might need to package that thing up with a, with a QR code. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's, a, there's an ad in this. Look at this. Download Cash App and get five bucks. Oh, no, it doesn't say that. I thought it did. Still doesn't add. All right, so where do we begin? So let's open the t the list. Got it up here. I mean, I think what we can do is start with the. You want to start with the phase rug one? No, that's. I don't. I think we have to put it in the middle yeah. somewhere, yeah, or yeah, or yeah, last, okay. frankly, to get okay. a real. Yeah, I feel handle. Like I think last. Okay. Well, you okay. can see all of the candies along the bottom here. I can't see the uh, tier list. Are we supposed to use this one? Because. Oh, did that? Oh, when the yeah. power went out, that TV reset. Sorry. Yeah. One second. So I think we should start with the more obviously not going to be spicy ones, like sour Skittles. It's sour. I've been eating that. The Me whole too. Show. It's good. It's no problem. And every you all have what we're doing, right? So guys, thank you, Yam. Everybody, we're going to do the sour Skittle. Put your balls in my mouth. What, uh. dude? I love sour Skittles. <sighs> love them. Tastes good. Yeah, I've been loving it. It's a good sour. Now, not, not too sour. Mm -hmm. In the uh, pre-show uh, live stream chat, I was seeing some disdain for sour Skittles. I feel like it's a controversial candy. Mm. Uh, chat, Surprise tell me, me if I'm wrong about that. Um, I, I was seeing a lot of call-outs on the sour Skittles. I don't like Skittles at all. I don't love them. All right. Really? The sour Skittles is probably going to be an F or a D on the sour list. On the sourness. Like... I but guess I, F would be like nothing. F's nothing. There's so it's nothing. like a D. I but. will say I'm gonna take one of these bags home. Yeah, we have like a whole Costco, like baseball, the mini league size. You do? Ugh, I don't know what I'm saying. My brain don't work so good. You today. know what I realized about? You mean you have like a whole bag? You know, it just reminds me when you're playing little league, you get a whole bunch of little candies, and there's always someone selling it, slinging those. Does does sour candy give any of you guys like the rumbles at all? The like, tummy rumbles? Yeah, does it make you shit at all? No. Shit? Yeah, not I, me. I, I, really as not. I get older, Never. I'm realizing sour candy fucking what? Really? hurts my stomach, yeah. Is there anything that doesn't make you shit? <laughs> That's a um, better question. <laughs> no. Could it be food itself that makes you shit? <laughs> right, but you know, there's like certain things that make you like, rush to the bathroom. Okay, I, it doesn't have that effect on me. I'm really curious about okay. this. We can do that one next. I don't know what the fuck this is, but it There's looks... two of them here. So, Mix it. This is mega... This is liquid candy? Ew. It's We're gonna, mega toxic so waste gross. slime liquor. Sour rolling Thank liquid you. candy. Yep. Never heard of it. My tongue. So... So what do you do Should we here? do this one? Yeah. We can do them if you like. Okay. So... Have you opened the top yet and seen yeah. what's going on here? <laughs> That's so funny. It's like a deodorant. Dude, that is yeah. so vile. That you <laughs> Isn't that crazy? And you just okay. lick the ball. I'm oh obsessed my God. with this. Okay, these candies are so vile. You lick it and then you put it back and you lick it again. There's oh, no way that's not like a bacterial. A a oh, I guess you mean like people yeah. close it and return to it. You're literally growing it. like <laughs> deadly bacteria on this. It is, it is very gross. Mine is not sour at all. Me neither. There's no sour to this. It's like not sour. Really? Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's like sweet. Like a it's drink. just sweet. <laughs> this is so weird. This is also so the funny. worst thing ever. Maybe shake it. There's no flavor. 
I wonder, should you no, like... Oh, you have to roll the ball. Yeah, you gotta roll the ball. Oh yeah, you have to like roll the... Roll <laughs> the I'm not trying to eat a fountain pen. What? <laughs> it's literally what <laughs> that it is. That is what it feels like. A ballpoint pen. It's like a tiny bit sour. It just tastes like a... like a... What the fuck are you supposed to even do with this? <laughs> it just tastes like one of those ecto cooler drinks. I want to take out the ball I think and that's drink an the F. liquid. Look at the fidget yeah. candy. If you yeah. squeeze it really hard, it comes out. Yeah, I'll try. Oh, maybe you got to squeeze because, like, I barely have any coming out. You have to really work the oh, balls on it. Squeeze. <laughs> you have to really work the ball. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, F. It's a little sour. Yeah, it's just a tiny bit sour. I think it's a D, in my opinion. I think it's an F. I, I mean, it's F. horrible. It is the worst candy ever. Why? Please don't anyone buy this. It's gonna make me shit. <laughs> I give it a C. So, okay, I mean, I guess it is less sour than the... Okay, let's see, we did these. Than the Skittles. So let's go F then. And the ball part isn't even candy. They should have made that part candy at least. Bro. Yeah, is this just plastic? Yes, mm -hmm. just plastic. Oh, I've been gnawing on it. You've been trying to get through it? <laughs> Me too. Yeah. I think it's just a ball of plastic. I thought it was like lollipop or something. Oh my god, stop, dude. <laughs> I've been gnawing on it. Oh, oh he did. Oh, no. Let's see it. Don't Yo, you're like one of the girls from um, Lizzo's oh strip God. club. That's right. <laughs> uh, ew. Take a swig of the Did you hit that? Juice? That shit's fucking like thick as fuck. It's oh. nuts. <laughs> you hit it? Yeah. Wow. Talk about a buzz ball. Ah. That's disgusting. Oops. Well, there it is. Uh, well done, love. The bad. Huh. How would that you bad. rate the sourness? I was the only one who went in. L less than Skittle. So it's an F. I yeah. think it's an F. Okay. They really hyped it up with that name, Toxic Waste Yeah. Slime. Yeah. They're Sorry. like, no, it's just really vile. It's yeah, it was nothing to do with right. the taste. It's just really disgusting. Toxic Waste Train. <laughs> <laughs> How about Sour Punch Mini Bites next? Goated. Let's do it. Which one? These look good. Sour Punch Mini Bites. So those are the little tubies, right? Mm. I think so, yeah. These are piece. nice. I never had that. Ooh. These? This is... Mm. I think it's also a D. Uh, yeah, sour. That's it. that's it. It's a little sour. I feel like the Skittles that we already put at D was more sour than the stuff. That's I wonder sour. if that one needs to move up. I don't think we can move Skittles up. No? It's just not that sour, you know? Honestly, this one's making me pucker up a little bit. Really? What? This one has a little... I feel like it's not sour at all. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. It's pretty much the same, huh? I'm willing to give it I'd a I'd say D. it's about the same as the Sour Skittles, maybe slightly more. I would, say, I, would oh, I would say, too. I would it say less. puckering yeah. your anus, Ethan? Is that what you mean? No, it's my, not my anus yet. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> I'll let you know, Zach. Please. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it seems like a D. Okay. Nice, though. I hate this candy. <laughs> really? What about it? Uh, F tier, easy. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why do you want to put it F tier, yeah? <laughs> Go ahead. He called on you. He called on you. <laughs> Ian. What happened? Where did he, where did Ian go? He was just talking about candies. Ian. What's wrong? Ian. I did not like it. Okay. He didn't like <laughs> it. So guys, let's move on to Lily's sour gummy worms. Okay, so what it I never heard this brand. Like? I don't know what I'm looking for here with the Lilies. Then Less sugar, sugar sweet life. These are the uh, worms that are more like transparent. The trolley ones are okay. They're like the natural okay. worms. The, 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 yeah, the skin. <laughs> Whoa, the dude! Wait, I gotta worms. say yeah. something about these more. these worms. I guess they're like healthy worms. Healthy? So this whole listen to this. This whole patch has seventy grams of calories. Not a lot, but here's where it gets really interesting. Dietary fiber, twenty four grams, eighty five percent of your daily. Oh wow! I wonder how fiber. So what? Wonder, what are these? Go right to the bathroom. Don't give them too what? much credit until you eat it. Uh -uh. Well, it's Fuck. like a healthy. Yeah. They're like organic. Uh, That's some fucking healthy candy. That's I wish you didn't eat it. Yeah. yeah. Media app. Weird. So Fuck this you, is supposed Lily. to be healthy? I think they are technically. That's don't make my candy healthy. Oh, dude. I see. Yeah, please. I think it's like those Metamucil mm -hmm. gummies I've been hitting. Uh, I'm gonna go D. <laughs> D Ian, I'm gonna disagree. I think it's an F. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I might Are be you? with Ian on this, D. <laughs> Ugh. The no. taste is awful. Agree. Yeah, Lily's. Yeah, F for me. Vitamin gummies are tastier. 
Yeah, I agree. You know? That's Yo, let's fun. get some Flintstones up in here, dude. Hell yeah. Dude, gummy worms turned woke. That shit's fucking <laughs> garbage. So Which I one is Flintstones? It's an F, I think. We think F? Because I, I, yeah. Cheers, my dude. It was a little sour. Whereas this one, again, the toxic slime was like nothing. I thought it was less sour than the two above. So we're, we're going just based on sourness. That's yeah. what we're going yeah. off of. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd go Steve on it. What? what? See? Whoa. Yeah, I like Who the cons- I like the consistency. <laughs> no, 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 sourness. Oh, you just we said can't, we, you we can't wait, but we can't throw any other factors into it. You literally asked <laughs> just sourness, and we said yes. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't live by the rules here. Okay. Yeah. I don't live by the rules. He's a maverick. <laughs> okay, then that case is F. But Zach, if you like it, you should munch on those because it that's a lot of fiber. Bro, I already got. <laughs> I don't. There's no problem there right. today, dude. Okay. <laughs> Okay, can we do these? Sour belt strawberry. Those look awesome. The red sour Ooh. belts. I'm excited about these. I, I like these. tub candy. It says sweet with a Z. <laughs> Ooh. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah, usually, if candy comes in a tub, you're going to have a good time with it. <laughs> oh, we look, look at this. Problem? You can get yeah. real wild with these. Are you showing this, Ian? So cute. They came with a little tweezer. <laughs> Here you are. What are you freaking out about, Zach? The, this? <laughs> this one? It's like really sweet. Yeah. Why does it look like bacon? <laughs> Wait, why is that? You're disgusted by these, Zach? I think these are delicious, Bab. Mm. Yeah, I really like. What is happening one. back there, Zach? <laughs> are you gonna say anything? That was disgusting. <laughs> what? The belt? Sweet. Yeah, I, I like sour belts. What the fuck is that? No, it's good. I thought it was good. I don't I agree. like it. I don't. It's literally like a normal ass candy. You're yeah. with me, Sam? Yeah, I it's do not, not good. Like it. I don't like it. <laughs> Okay. That's odd. I mean, you're not, you're not obligated to like it. Okay, well, on sourness, though, again, we're not getting many places. It's kind of weak, there. and I'm starting to wonder if maybe we need to expand our tiers. Um, I feel because... like the first Skittles so no. far was the most sour for me. Yeah, I almost feel like no. Skittles no. and Sour Punch C, and this is D, and these remain F. Yeah. Really? That's, I, I'm yeah. feeling like that we need to yeah, probably. bump things up a little bit uh-huh. on the sour scale. Curve this grade. Well, these ones were a D, in my opinion. Do you want to move Skittles up to C? I think so. Skittles and maybe these to see. Let me try the Skittles. And again. and the belts now are the new D baseline. That's my proposal. Would anyone like to second that proposal? Seconded. And okay, third. we have a second. Thank you. I definitely agree with that. Oh, we have a third. Okay, mm-hmm. I, I'm a man of the people. I just okay. I just hit another sour Skittle, and they're definitely the most sour thing so far. Yeah, yeah. so far yeah. sour Skittles yeah. are definitely the most. They don't strike me as very so. sour. But Maybe, I yeah, I agree, but. But more than anything else. Yeah, so. yeah more than that. Okay, so C. And what, how do we feel about the Sour Punch? No, that's a D. These remain D. That one yeah. wasn't, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then we, what are these called? Zweets. Zweet Zweet? Uh, belts. Those are D. Sour Strips? Is that this one? this one? No, that's the blue ones. Sour Strips. Mm. Let's see that so one. So that's the blue strip, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. This one, so you know, Zach. Has no fiber. Okay. Are you guys drinking water in between? Mmm. Mmm. He's got a little more sour too. Mmm. We're getting somewhere. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Loving these ones. That's good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh, real good chemical taste. That's sour. Ooh. That's that's sour. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah. So that's probably a B, you think? B. Really? Or A. No, 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 it's not A. I don't think it's A, but it might... Like B or it's, C. I think it's higher than the Skittles, so the maybe thing, B. The thing is, once you hit this extra sour warhead, you will understand. Mm. But there's but still it, an S here. I know, but like, even A, I think, is too honorable of a spot. So <laughs> B, sounds like... Mm. I think these are Skittle. Yeah. Or same same as Skittles. Same as Skittles. I, I, I found I it a little bit more than the Skittles, but um, I'm open to push back there. Throw me another strip, bro. I need another sour strip. <laughs> you can have the whole thing. Just fling that shit over. Oh. So um I, I put those C honestly. I mean it's you know, it's just not it's nothing that crazy. Okay. What does everybody else think? B or C? B for me. Oh, okay. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Really? Yeah. I'd say B. Okay, but once again, a man of the people. I have to go with with uh, my subjects on this. <laughs> B, it is. B. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. All right, we're working our way up. Now, the Sour Patch Kids, I love these. This is my favorite. Fantastic. Sour candy. I mean, these things never disappoint, boy. In fact, when last time we were in New York, remember, there was a Sour Patch yeah. Kids store? Yeah, there's a store. And you get a tin in the shape of a Sour Patch Kid, and you just fill it. Mm -hmm. It's like they challenge you to fill it up with as much shit as you can. And so we had a tin of this in our house for months. Oh, it's not that sour, though. Hmm. What does something like that cost? I don't even remember. Somebody said uh, a YouTuber owns sour strips. Really? Really. Max Tuning. I'm looking it up right now. Respect. Wow. That's great. Th those were the most flavorful. Those were good. They rock. They're great. Yeah. Entrepreneur. Eat more sour strips. Yeah. Sour okay. Patch Shout strips. out. Left. Max Tuning. Got a good product there. Um. These are not that sour. No. Probably, I would put it probably C. Or D. Um, yeah. I feel like it was more sour than sour strips, no? What flavor did you have? More sour? I had the red one. I felt like at first they were sweet, then they were sour. Wait, but this, you're talking <laughs> about the red sour strips, right? No, I'm, I was, we're talking I had about a red sour, sour, patch. sour patch. Sour Patch Kids we're doing now. Right, no, I get it, but what were you saying? It I was... had a red Sour Patch. Uh-huh. I think that that um, was, to me, more sour than the blue strips. But really? I was asking, what, what color Sour Patch did you I have? I think they're all the same sour. They're all just coated. Interesting. They're rolled in some kind of sour concoction. What is everyone's sour sampling? Try this. My bag is not sour. Maybe try this. Really? What do you, what do you guys do for your sour sampling blue, method? Do you put it on your tongue and you suck it? Or like, do you just do you chew yeah, it? Yeah, no, I, I roll it around. Yeah, yeah, yeah I suck it. I do it all, I don't chew it till it's sweet. <laughs> and suck while you tongue. I feel like that's not oh. sour at all. Yours aren't dusted at all. Isn't that strange? All about that dust. Yeah. Wow, we gotta get some quality control from the gummy bear <laughs> people. The patch kids. Yeah, I think they're... I think they're D, frankly. On sour level. Just didn't do it for me either. Yeah. Same like, it, it, there's D. some sourness there, but it's it's not intense at all. Okay, well, we're working our way up to this Warheads. Yeah. D's. And then the Phase Rugs, and then Sam's. These are the real... Okay. So we have, um... Sour Bright Crawlers. I think we've all enjoyed these uh, at one point in our lives. Mm -hmm. I've never had any of these candies, by the way. Oh. You liking them? Yeah, those are right. This one's pretty yeah. sour. I just realized, am I missing the Sour Patch Kids on this tier list? I might have to add it real quick. Oh shit, my bad. It's okay. Here, that I'll one's just, pretty I'll sour. Just add it. Mm -hmm. A B? Seems like there's not a lot of consistency. It seems that some of us are getting sourer versions of the candies. I mean, I think there is some variation because it's usually the it's the dust on it, right? That makes it sour. The like dust. almost all of these candies are just mm -hmm. like a gummy candy with sour shit on the outside. So you're gonna get some variance there. Well, yeah. at any rate, the gummy um, worms for me are a B. If anyone I agrees. think I'm a C on that. C. The trolleys here? Is that what we're on? Yeah. yeah. The crawlers. D, probably. And at this point, Nila, mm. <laughs> it's time for extreme sour warheads. And these are the bane of my existence. As you guys know, to my great shame, I've admit here on the show. Wait, where did we land with the trolleys? I'm sorry. I think they're B. Nila said C. You said B up there with the sour strips? I think D. not. I, I agree. I agree with the C rating. I must have got an undusted I sour think. strip. You must have. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Are right, you guys agree with C? Does everybody feel good about C? Uh, I want yeah. everyone to feel good about this. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. This is important. All right. Well. Okay. We're now moving on to extreme. War extreme. We're going to do the warheads now. Okay. Oh, so really? This, this one's infamous. Now I've admitted to my great shame something I thought I would take to the grave. <laughs> That I used to wash them in the water <sighs> and so then pathetic. suck them. It's, fucking uh, it's a shame. I am humiliated that that did happen. So they're not your favorite candy? I apologize. Not my favorite candy, but I am going to do it today. Mm -hmm. Today, I am going to do it. Water free. So the I'm only water I'll yellow. use is the one in my mouth, baby. I'm doing a yellow, right. which theoretically Ready? is the, the most sour. Which one? The yellow. Oh. Wait, it's did you already lemon. do it? No, I haven't no. popped it yet. Okay. Let's do it at the same time. The thing is here, there's no dusting on the warhead. 
This is like advanced technology. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They're way beyond the dust. Uh, you know, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. These people know what they're doing. Are you guys ready? Why does it lie? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. All right, go ahead. Here we go. Drop the bomb. Oh. Good. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's sour. That's good. That fucking sour. This was the only sour one so far. Mm -hmm. Oh hey, my Lena. god. Ooh, that's so good. See, this is this is easy for me. Yeah. Look at this. Brand new warhead, right? Everything else feels like F compared to this. Mm -hmm. It's on another level. Mm -hmm. It's like burning my tongue. But that was not as bad as the rug one, was it? Mm -hmm. You're saying the warhead wasn't as bad as the rug one? No. no I completely disagree. That's what? chump change. The rug one was pathetic, dude. Hmm. Sad L. And hmm. I say that as a massive phase fan. Like that pains me to say. Oh, those fucking. Now uh, I got through that part. You good, Ethan? <laughs> Nothing in the middle, though. Surprisingly, <laughs> I thought it's it would sweet be sweet in the middle. See, yeah. that's it's what sweet. sour candy's supposed to make you do. Yep. I made it. <laughs> that was hard. That's it tastes like unhealthy. Yeah. It's like maybe cancer causing. It's good for you, man. <laughs> oh my god, that was. I mean, that's an S tier, right? <laughs> I mean, of course. How, how is it not? Yeah. Triple S. Do we have any left? I want to try the and you know. One. Yeah, we have a bunch of warheads left. You want another one? Yeah. What color did you do? Uh, I try. Uh, pink. Pink? That's probably the sweetest. Get the yellow. If you really, I, I believe the yellow is the, the blue. sourest. Now, you really got to give it up to the warhead people. Fuck Faze Rug. These people 20, 30 years ago stepped up and said no. We are the kings of sour. This is the sour challenge. And guess what? It probably costs 25 cents. This, <laughs> I swear, way less sour than Faze's candy. Really? I couldn't do Faze's candy. What color I'm did you I'm just do? chilling with this blue one in my mouth. And then did it huh? too? I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And all the reviews online were like, this candy sucks. It's not sour. I feel like you have to try. You have to try it when we get there. Well, we're here. We're here. Okay, we well, can we've arrived. It. Now, to be fair to FaZe, these have been sitting, um, well, this, they're still quite, um, they're still quite powdered, because they're gooey, it kind of holds on to it, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one's got extra juice, you want that oh one? Oh my, I can't um, control I, this my one has it too. Roll around. Alright, so FaZe, FaZe Rug, that is Does your real name. Does anybody else want to do it? Because there's three. Oh yeah, you guys don't yeah, have take them. one. Yeah, pass it around. Oh yeah, Lena didn't try it yet. Oh, let Lena try it because she hasn't had one. And then e I'd say either Love or Olivia because they're the ones that are saying they okay. didn't think they That's thought it true. was pretty bad. It was. All right, well, I'm just gonna try it again I'm in the context oh, of having oh, oh. all of these other candies yeah. and see if it's as sour as you remember. Look how sticky it is. Yeah, it's super. That is hanging on <laughs> at a hundred and eighty degrees. All right, I'm gonna do it. Okay. I think you're meant to suck on them too. What the challenge says. Yeah. Okay, I mean, it's definitely, he's puckering mm -hmm. pretty hard right now. My tongue. You think it's pretty gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sour. It's pretty bad. That is sour. The it's most sour of what we had so far. I think it's the most sour. Really? Really? Uh, <laughs> that That does not even compare to a warhead in my opinion. I don't even like the flavor, too. That's the worst part. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's part of the problem is they're, they're not good. They I taste think like they're very, very The similar. warhead, you get like, you get the victory at the end. It's sweet and it's yummy. <sighs> right. Yeah, you've been talking a big game, Ethan. I feel like this was bad. This was sour. And the sourness was sour. lasts long. Right? Too. I haven't spoken yet. I'm still recovering. Somehow more sour than last time? So How here's my happen? here's my analysis. It hits you different. So here's what I'll say. I know we're not judging flavor, but it tastes like shit. And there's no reason for that. <laughs> yeah. At twenty dollars well, you could have formulated English. something better. Right. That being said, on the sour level, I would I would frankly say that I'd go A. It's it is as here's the thing. It's as sour as the warhead, but it feels like a less clean sour. Hmm. It's like cut with some, with like baby powder or something. I mean, <laughs> not the pure form. 
<laughs> it's not that we need pure Colombian sour. You know what I mean? Yeah, yep, for sure. It's like dude. super chemically. Yeah, I, I see what cream. you mean. Yeah, sure. they're all different Ugh. flavors. <laughs> so I mean, it is very, it is, I think, S tier sour, but yeah, I think it's S. If you, but ask. I don't know, man. It's just, it sucks to put it up there. It feels bad, just based off of. Let's give it an A. It is. You know, I, after it trying sour. it again, I think where it is so, some more sour. Mm. Mm. <laughs> For it's, me, at least. It's definitely up there, though. I don't need a neutralizer, though. I mean, the whole their whole gimmick is like, come on, give me a fucking break. Don't need to shoot my mouth with a fire fire extinguisher. You want chatter saying because we drank no the neutralizer kit. We did the neutralizer after. It's but just didn't sugar we try water. It before? No, we did it before, but I really don't think that does makes much of a difference. <coughs> I think it's. Yeah. Wait, you guys drank it before? Yeah, yeah. I was like this thing. We like a little sip. Kind of good. <laughs> I'll say this. It says sour as a warhead, but I'm not endorsing this product. Right. Mm -hmm. Again. A warhead costs twenty five cents, and it's better in terms of taste, it tastes good, quality, yeah. and experience. Phase rug, this I still firmly would say is a total scam. <laughs> He's selling you shit tasting warheads, five of them for twenty bucks. No, war stop it, dude. Stop, stop it. <sighs> All right, now well now we come to the the finale. Wait, are we yeah. just skipping over these other ones? I did everything in my bucket. You did the sour lemon drops? I don't have those here. Oh. Well, then that's... There There you go. We're running one out to you right now. Uh, so there's two left, I guess. The sour lemon drops yeah. and the airheads? The air... We need the, the like, rainbow airheads, too. The roof of my mouth is hurting. Mm. It's all torn up. Everybody else has those, right? Everybody I else feel that, too. Lemon drop? You if, feel that? It fucks with my mouth a lot, too. Hmm. Bad. I mean, it's a lot of citric acid <laughs> that we're intentionally putting in our mouths, so. Thank come you. Come on, live a little. Uh, thank you, Sam. Live a little, people. Get her shredder. <laughs> okay, so these are, look like a, an English treasure. <laughs> We've got the Great British, Great mm. Britain flag here. Sour lemon drops. Never had these. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Zach. Lizzie in a box. All right, I'm, I'm popping one. Yep. Oh, they're big. It's also yeah. giving, so it's got this nice, high-quality powder like a Warhead does. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried it yet, though. Oh, that's not sour. That's the sweetest oh, thing I've ever had in my life. It's F. Mm -hmm. The English, what the fuck are you doing over there? Fucking dumbass. You literally put this on a boat and shipped it to us? This is the best export you've got? I gotta say, it's not a bad candy. Yeah. Not sour. But we're on a mission today. Oh, uh, yeah, I understand. But I'm not hating the lemon drops. It's a tiny not, little not bit of me. It's a tiny little bit sour. It's F, though. Unimportant it, it, announcement. It, Buckingham it, Palace <laughs> has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Queen, Ab Queen Elizabeth would die again if she saw the rating on this candy. <laughs> Absolute tragedy. Tragic seat, yeah. All right. All right. So there's one more. There's the extreme airheads. Okay. I've never had these yeah. either. Beautiful. Uh, Rainbow. Yeah, pride. Happy pride, everybody. Yes. Always pride. Oh, the flavor is good. Mm -hmm. Not sour. All though. different Not flavors. Sour. Just a tiny bit at the end. A little bit. Deep. Actually, yeah. Aftertaste. More sour than I was expecting. Right. Mm. Chocolate mocha. But kind of a D. Yeah, it's a D. Flavors. It's about the same as these red sour belts, I'd say. All right, Sam. So Sam has created her own concoction. She's oh, taking boy. it out of this is a safe with uh, metal gloves as we speak. She's wearing a mask, a hazmat suit. <laughs> I am so excited. I am so excited. This is beautiful. Just a black ball of death. I oh, like no. that. Oh, no. I like that color, Sam. I am oh, so no. Excited. It's blue. <laughs> I like that, though. Look it's at that. Blue. That's something you don't want to even put in your body. You know what I mean? Whew. 
Oh my god. I, I got you made this at home. This is I have high expectations for Sam. I, everything I she does is, is good. going to kill me. Now, looking at the coating, first oh, of all, it's boy. massive. This looks, looks like death. This looks like evil ass shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks evil. Ooh. Sam, like we might have to package this. I have, this looks I have never made candy, so I don't know if the taste will 100% be <laughs> well, there, but it, it is. It is supposed to be blue raz with a sour lemon core. Have you tried it? I have tried it, mm -hmm. and it was hard. Oh my god! It feels like I barely touch. It feels like pins and needles on my tongue. <laughs> Let's go. All right. So, uh, cheers to Sam. Cheers, my dude. What cheers, do we, does it have a name? If it, no, I don't know. I don't know what to name it. Mm. So we put the whole but, thing uh, in the mouth. It, it, it is like real. Sour, so if it starts very big hurting, you can take it out of here. <laughs> Is this going to kill me? <laughs> Maybe. I make you shit your pants by the sound of it. <laughs> Fair enough. Don't make you shit yourself. All right. The well. black hole. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Seriously. We got. Oh, a that's actually not bad because a black hole, it like, sucks everything in and right. makes your face pucker. Oh, that'd be good art. Mm. Yeah. Here's, yeah. <laughs> it's like putting a black hole in your mouth. We're gonna sell yeah. this. Yeah. Pretty good. We gotta find a co-packer immediately. If you're a co-packer, email us. This is we're gonna get bring this to market by the by the end of the month. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Can we do oh a count. God, I don't want to do it. I I'm do I it. am scared. Cheers, my dude. I don't want to put this in my mouth. Should we do a countdown? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It Let's looks do it. so scary up close. Yeah, it looks dangerous. All right, everybody, just pop it in. Pop it in. All right, everybody, go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> that's poison. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Ooh. That's poison. That's not candy. Ooh. Oh my god! I can't see. Oh, I had to spit it out. Well, Holy fuck! That's so sour. I'm not <laughs> at, Jesus, I'm now, still going, dude. You're still going? Uh -huh. Oh my god! I right, man, I'm gonna pop it back in. I just I needed I mean, a, a breath for a second. Holy fuck, dude! This is straight up. It Sam, is. I love that. Oh my god, this is so. I will say, fucking... the flavors are like scrumptious. Uh, Here's mm -hmm. the thing. Sam that's a challenge. Yeah. Uh, whatever phase gum package oh. is bullshit. That's a challenge. What? No, that's well, amazing, my... Sam. It's Jeez. actually sour. <laughs> oh no. I love it. My tongue oh my feels God, weird though. Yeah, Sam wins. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. It, it does. Not even close. Sam Bump everything like... else down. I'm gonna. Yeah. This is not S tier. <laughs> yeah. Sam is the sole winner. Holy I agree. God. Oh my mm -hmm. God. I the didn't know hole. what to expect, but it looked scary. Okay. And I got through it. I got through it, got and now I'm to the candy layer, and it's pretty good. This is like, oh, wow. this is like a super ultra mega fucking war. You did it, Sam. Okay. Sam. No. And, and the, <laughs> here, you know what I'm gonna do, Sam? Because yeah, watch I'm giving it. you the title. This used to be the Warheads. I've grown up. I've graduated. <laughs> now I want to taste the candy. Okay, watch And this it. is your honor uh, now. Sam. My mouth feels. I would say I will terrible. Say, don't bite it because it is. Re I bit it and it sticks to your teeth bad. So uh. be careful with that. So we're washing it off in is there honor anything of Sam. In the middle? There uh, is like a... lemon in the middle, but I don't know if you'll get there. It's kind of. Is it? <laughs> it would take you a while. Is it supposed to be a little bitter? Yeah, it's quite bitter. It's bitter. Yeah. I will it say is that. Bitter. I, yeah. And no. <laughs> No, no shade, but the candy itself is. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're you not liking it anymore. Bad? Not the best. I love the sour layer. I feel oh, like yeah. th this blue raz candy layer is a little too bitter. That was beautiful. But I'm curious okay. to get That's to the middle, so I'm gonna. Ah! I'm gonna crack it open. <laughs> this is so bad. My mouth still tastes terrible. Oh my yeah, god. No, me too. Look at your tongue. Me? Oh yeah. Damn. All of us. Anyone. <laughs> Oh, is this safe to oh eat? Let <laughs> me see your tongue. Look at well, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm taking it here so you can see it on the screen here. Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> Wait, that's a fun element. <laughs> what is that? Like, so oh Sam. my god. Okay, it's the... not that blue. What? <laughs> Sam, this might be unsafe no. for human consumption. No, it's fine. My like, gums are itching. <laughs> The FDA is gonna have to clear this. Wow, that I was mean, an experience. I, oh my God. Well done. I mean, yeah. you you actually knocked out. Yeah, yeah. That's the one of the I've ever experienced. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know how you did that. Our but you Taco did Bell it. is here now. Oh shit! Oh my God, it's the best day ever. I'm so, actually, I am actually serious that I think that would make a good product. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's certainly more of a challenge than the rug. Yeah, this is we a need, real challenge. We need like the H3 sour challenge. Mm -hmm. This thing, is though. on the level of like the spicy chip challenge. I yeah. think so. Yeah. yeah. Is there 
Is there actual regulation about how much like citric acid and shit you can have in a candy? That's what we I might wonder. have actually gone beyond <laughs> the legal threshold here. That's there what is. I wonder, but probably not. There is. There is. That's what Warhead is at. Mm. Oh, really? But did you surpass the limit? Um, only a little, but I did follow. <laughs> I loosely followed a recipe, and the people mm. who made it had a very similar reaction. I'm gonna have renal filling. But, right but to actually, <laughs> like, which is, I'm sure we'll all be fine. But to bring that to market might actually. But we'd have problem. to do I mean, the formula, right? Yeah. Tweak the formula. Yeah. When I think about how spicy the spicy chip is versus like how yeah. sour, I feel like. How Apparently, let that spicy happen? is unregulated. Oh. Oh. It's unregulated. I, I mean, <laughs> they sell that chip. If they yeah. sell that chip, yeah. I mean, that's like an absurd Why are they amount. hating on sour? I don't know. The FDA is like, if you eat uh, over this level, it does pose a risk of bodily harm and uh, also. <laughs> Um, don't eat this if you're pregnant. No. <laughs> I, I was reading because um, it has to do with there's a large market for kids with candy. Uh, like sour. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, there's, right. there's the not kids, like super uh, spicy kids, candy. Yeah, like not kids, like spicy. You know? I wonder yeah. if we market it for adults. If that would, I'll, we'll look into it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into That's it. That's true. I, I know a, this is definitely for adults. I yeah. know a FDA lawyer. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's start talking shop. You know what I mean? Co-packers, we are putting this in. We're going to have QR codes. There's a chance that one of you guys is going to win, like, I think, like, I don't know, 50,000? Like, one of you guys, just keep scanning them. Don't even eat the can. Just scan the code. Promise. It'll be worth it. Uh, I'm seeing something about acid eating away at your gums and your mouth. Yeah, uh, it, it does taste like poison, to be honest, when I put it in my mouth. <laughs> You're just putting acid in your mouth, you know. My tongue's fucked up. <laughs> I do. Mine too, it's still fucked Zach. up. But you had it in there for a while. It's so blue. <laughs> yeah, I don't I think- I did make sure it was- <laughs> I did make sure it was absolutely safe before I did any of this. You did. So. How did- can I ask okay. how did you do that? <laughs> yeah, that the, uh, the outer layer or the whole thing? Just the whole thing. <laughs> um, you just have to- it's all about temperature, so it's just corn syrup, sugar, and- water pretty mm -hmm. much and you have to heat it to a certain temperature to get that like hard crack mm -hmm. then you mix, mix in the citric acid you put it into the mold so i just did that three times basically and then i put them together and then i rolled it in Jesus, coconut yeah. oil and citric acid <laughs> wow okay nice. what about the sour coating that i'm interested in it's it's citric acid That's it's just you, yeah. citric acid yeah so you just Which, dumped a lot on well, I, I tossed it in coconut oil so the citric acid would stick. A lot of people use citric and malic acid. That's what Warhead does. Okay. But, mm. Yeah. I didn't have access to food grade like malic acid, so. We'll get you that. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Whatever malic acid, whatever you, you need. Get you a lab it. like Walter mm -hmm. White. Underground. Yep. Laundromat. Yeah. Pure. 99.9%. <laughs> All right. That was fun. Yeah, I, I gotta yeah. say, congratulations, Sam. You yeah. took it down. Mm -hmm. Took down the whole candy industry, really. And overall, pretty disappointed by the sour showing, I'd say, on the whole. Although, I guess they're meant to be enjoyed. Yeah. You know, but even the Warheads, I thought, was like, it's a good, pretty good candy. They really did something special with this. I warheads. agree. I they think did. Warheads are excellent. Wow, and back, the fact that it is as spicy, or spicy, as uh, sour as it is, but then you're... You're rewarded with such a delightful but little it's sweet so nice. candy. It's, it's so nice. Yeah. It's just a perfect balance. And it comes and saves you just when you need it. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Very good. Very exciting. There it is. We've come to a conclusion, folks. We're doing science out here at the HV Podcast. <laughs> Boots on the ground like nobody else in the biz. Meanwhile, as the, the Taco Bell comes out, <laughs> um, <laughs> Kim Kardashian's Kim Kardashian, daughter. Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Kim That's North, I guess. Kim Kardashian, yeah. Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Damn. <laughs> yeah, she hit one. that. She's stanky. She hit that good. Kim wow. Damn. I don't think we should. I just feel bad. I feel weird using a kid's sound. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You know, she's kind of a superstar. Clearly, Kim doesn't, but Kim I Kardashian. do. <laughs> you know, and there's no. Oh uh, yeah. All right, moving on. What do we got here? Kim Kardashian. 
as we wait for, I want to wait till everybody's seated to talk about the XQC thing because he's making threats against me. Ooh. But Lizzo responded. We actually talked at great length about the Lizzo lawsuit. Yeah, I I was listening to that part of the show. And so, you know, I was watching um. Uh, the, our lawyer friend. Emily? Emily, yeah, Emily Baker. I was watching Emily Baker read the complaint. Yeah. And she, I, she really agreed with me, and a, a lot of the stuff didn't seem like either that bad or actionable. Okay. For example, one of the complaints is that she was forced to do a nude photo shoot. That was on her reality show. Like, the environment was, that's the environment on the show, is that you do that stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I it's the expectation when you're there. And so the way that she framed that seems a little... Like missing the context. Yeah, I felt a lot of it was... I don't know. I, 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 I w anyway, here's what Lizzo said. These, fa uh, these last few days have been gut-wrenchingly difficult and overwhelmingly disappointing. My work ethic, morals, and respectfulness have been questioned. My character has been criticized. Usually I choose not to respond to false allegations, but these are as unbelievable as they sound and too outrageous not to be addressed. These sensationalized stories are coming from former employees who have already publicly admitted that they were told their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. That's it. Mm. No, there is more. That's not it. As an artist, I have always been very passionate about what I do. I take my music and performance seriously because at the end of the day, I only want to put out the best art that represents me and my fans. With passion comes hard work and high standards. Sometimes I have to make hard decisions, but it's never my intention to make anyone feel uncomfortable or like they aren't valued as an important part of the team. As... I am not here to be looked at as a victim, but I also know that I am not the villain that people in the media have portrayed me to be these last few days. I'm very open with my sexuality and express myself, but I cannot accept or allow people to use that openness to make me out to be something I'm not. There is nothing I take more seriously than the respect we deserve as women in the world. I know what it feels like to be body shamed on a daily basis and would absolutely never criticize or terminate employed because of the way. And again, I kind of got a, I. I believe her on the weight thing because the proof of the fact shaming was just that she said y you need to try harder or something. I don't remember, mm -hmm. but it was something like that. Innocuous. That they weren't committed or what was Yeah, that? you're not yeah. committed enough. That's it. Uh, I'm hurt. But I will not let the work I've done in this world be overshadowed by this. I want to thank everyone who has reached out and support to lift me up during this difficult time. And and, and surprisingly, she hasn't yet mm. put out the flute apology. Which is a shame. What do you think? I mean, it's pretty standard. I feel like it's really hard to tell. It's I don't know enough stuff. about Yeah, I don't know enough about the situation. And this could easily be like her just denying everything even though it did happen. So I don't know. I, I really don't know. Right. Yeah, it's not very illuminating. No. Um, one thing I, I heard, uh, I saw a crisis manager rating this response, and she said it's on YouTube. I don't know. I get weird, <laughs> weird sidebar action. Okay. But she said something really interesting. She says it's smart that she did it in Instagram stories because there's no comments. Mm -hmm. just Instagram stories and then the, what gets passed around is just this image of the text mm -hmm. yeah and there's no comments you know mm -hmm. talking mad shit and you know frankly influencing people's opinion mm -hmm. yeah I never even thought about that but that is yeah. pretty clever so oh shit Beyonce though left Lizzo's name out mm, no she it, Lizzo posted that as a grid post there are comments for that one. She did post this. Yeah. Here. Wait, what? Lizzo posted that permanently on her Instagram. Not. Oh. Yeah. Here oh, I well, I, I guess you. that woman was wrong. Not much of a crisis man. I'm going to need a crisis <laughs> manager after making a mistake like that. Okay. Also, she has a comments on, so. Um, there were but, also like. So 
I was seeing going around Twitter like some of the celebrities who had liked it. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, the but she, it seems like she didn't address everything, though, right? Because what were no. the other allegations? Because well, she's only talking about the fat shaming and the... The sex stuff, which is... Well, it was the fat shaming and then, like, the nude photos and then the bo- the stripping stuff where they she, like, made... She forced... Not forced her. She influenced her to touch a naked stripper, stuff like that. There's the banana being shot out the pussy, which was my favorite standout. Apparently, they went to a strip club where this where this stripper was shooting objects from her uh, vagina, mm. <laughs> including a banana. Okay. And uh, what was the other object? A dildo. A dildo. Oh, a dildo. Not a banana. A dildo. No, it was both. She was shooting <laughs> a dildo out, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> you know. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this is her. This is the lady. Lizzo response. Oh, it's TikTok. Here we go. Thank you. Let's break down Team Lizzo's response from Wait, a crisis some, communication. Did you put it up on the strategic- screen? I think your screen froze. Yeah, it is. Mm. But definitely very lawyery, so. Mm hmm. I don't think it's going to do much of anything for anyone. But the top comments are all pretty brutal. Top comment is saying I'm open with my sexual- sexuality is an yeah. odd way to deny sexual assault claim. That statement was kind of weird. Harassment claim, sorry. Okay, she said something and nothing at the same time. Nice lowering. Open with my sexuality. Well, that's a really cute way to dismiss sexual assault. Yeah. I don't think she was accused of sexual assault. Mm. Right? I don't think so. Uh, it was was it? Harassment. Yeah. Harassment. harassment. Well, one of the top comments says she's sexually assaulted. This is a way that these things get amplified. Uh-huh. Sorry, but this is an awful statement to put out. Diminishing the victim's claims while also shifting the blame to the victim. No owning, no explaining, no good promises. It's just smoke and mirrors, empty and hollow. I'm just beyond disappointed. It's tricky, man. Even if she's like, clearly she thinks she's fully innocent. She did nothing wrong. Well, there's gotta be. Do you know what's a sign that this is bad, though? There's no, like, there's no level at all of, like, okay, maybe I did some. Right. Like, giving a little bit of something, like, um, I appreciate this being brought up, you know, and I'm gonna do better kind of thing. Like, I'm, I'm gonna learn from my mistake. I don't know, like, some kind of, like, at least acknowledge that they're acknowledge, acknowledge that they felt something. that way. They felt mm-hmm. that way. Yeah. And also, people outside of your your dance troupe felt that way. Her ex, mm-hmm. creative director, and other people outside have said that she's super rude and mean to work with. So yeah, I, like saying just straight out that it's false and that's it is a little bit like. A I agree. Bit it's too, not too black and white. Hold on. Someone says she's accused of assault. How? Oh, that false imprisonment? Well, that's not sexual assault. That was, that was just a good old uh, false imprisonment. Right? So, here's Beyonce apparently leaving her out. Brutal. Skips over her name during Queen's remix performance. Oh, yeah. Is this all of the problems with my laptop? Oh. All right. Bear with us here, guys. I heard nothing, by the way, from this clip. (laughs) Apparently, it's in there somewhere. (laughs) That she did not say Lizzo. Oh my god, Olivia, you went to the Taylor Swift show. I did, I did. It was she, so it was so good. So Taylor wait. did too. What's hmm? that? Taylor? Taylor did too. Oh my god. Hey Taylor. <laughs> Is she a Swifty? Yeah, kind of. I'm Swifty. <laughs> I live for it. I'm a Swifty. Anything, whatever you guys I love her. Nobody speaks to me the way she does. So how was the show? Tell us about it. It was 
so good. It was so nostalgic. The amount of lyrics that my brain knew and I didn't know that they knew. Mm. Mm -hmm. Impeccable. I've never felt the way I felt when she sang that he nailed down and pulled out a ring and said in Love Story, I lost my damn mind. It was mm. so good. It was so good. You got good. caught up in the moment. What the? And you're not even like a Swifty, no, are you? No, I went with my sister. My sister's like the Swifty of the fam. That's exactly so what um, Taylor described. She's like, I'm not exactly a Swifty, but I knew all the lyrics. So. Yeah, it like took me over. I was also, That's yeah, funny. I was having the time of my life. And how were your seats? They were good, yeah. We were up off the floor, so we weren't quite like super close, but it was good. I've heard so much about her shows being like, Impossible to get tickets, crazy expensive, and all this. Yeah. But uh, someone, somewhere they got in. Yeah. I mean, you got tickets. We did. Can I eat this? Yeah. It was... Honestly, it's like, she's so successful, and I kind of feel like sometimes people feel like they want to hate, but like technically, what is there to hate? I don't yeah. know. Just have fun. Dance a little bit, maybe. Shake it off. Shake it <laughs> off. That speaks to me. Mm -hmm. That song specifically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. We have some. We have media from it. Oh yes, we do have media from it. So, um, but what was she like? Was there a lot going on on stage? Was there? Um, yeah, it was very theatrical. She um, dances like a witch. I thought it was very funny. Like all of her moves mm. are like, like she's very <laughs> witch esque in like all eras. Um, I was so surprised by the consistency of her voice through the wow. whole show. Because I've never really <laughs> thought about her as like super vocally trained or anything. But the way that the strength of her voice carried her through the show was crazy. And mm -hmm. let me ask you, I've been to a lot of shows with pop singers. They sing over their track. Was yeah. she doing that or was it just her? Um, I assumed that she was probably singing over a track. But you could tell like when that was real and when it wasn't, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Apparently the merch line had a three hour wait. <laughs> this was the day before. The oh shit! They were selling merch the day before. <laughs> oh wow! That's the way to do it. Wow! Damn, they, these people know how to get paid. Wait, where are the people? Um, are the people all the way on the other side of the rip of the lake? That is absolutely insane. Wow! Wow! Did you stand in that line, Olivia? I did not. Mm. Um, they uh, separated. I don't know if they changed it like it between the two days, but every floor had like three different merch booths. So it, the the lines were split up. Listen to this. She played forty five songs. The show was three and a half hours. That's yeah. pretty. That's that's long. That's crazy. That is crazy. And she's doing six nights at this. Yep. Uh, venue, yeah. dude, you gotta. If they're that. all like three and a half. I mean, yeah, you get like I'm not a fan of her music. You got to give it up for that. That's that's, that's insane. pure fan love yeah, right there. Exactly, man. that's crazy. Forty five songs, dude. That's like all of them. Well, you know, I was obviously so grateful to have been there. There were whispers Selena Gomez was gonna come out. Didn't happen. <laughs> mm. It didn't happen, which I'm t obviously it's okay. I just she was also posting during the show. I was like checking her Instagram, because she was posting story after story, like throwback photos, and I was like, she's trying to throw this up, and then she never came out, Aww. but it's fine. Was there any uh, guest singers? There were no guests hmm. for my night, but the entire, the entire night was like a beautiful surprise, you know? Every single song, I was surprised and happy. We got videos and photos from Olivia. Oh my God, dude. How many people were in there? Whoa. Lot of people. SoFi Whoa. Stadium. How does that hold? That's crazy. Uh, I believe. Let's see. Wow. Seventy k. Seventy thousand. Yeah, but it looks like they would have to kill, you know, about a fifth of that behind the stage. Well, they're also on the ground, dude. There's people yeah, behind the stage too. So. There are people. <laughs> Who's sitting there? Yeah, I guess you're right. It does look like. Uh, <clears throat> That's some sad shit, boy. Yeah, I guess there is. You're just staring at the back of a TV. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift was performing the same night as the Crater Clash 2 in the same area, and so it made the ticket prices super expensive. There was, like, no hotels available. Traffic mm. was insane. 
because of Taylor. She was actually mayor for the day of Tampa. Honorary Dude, mayor. she straight up runs her own <laughs> ecosystem. You, just, you yeah. run the town now. Taylor <laughs> Swift. You're down now. I think it's super cool that she does such a good long show, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's that's awesome. So, what do you think her tickets run on average? Because I know it's really expensive, right? Yeah. I think yeah. Average ticket price? What is it like? Four hundred, yeah. maybe, maybe less. Three hundred. Average ticket price. I'm curious what she's pulling in per night. <laughs> Wait, Business Insider said this is probably because of all of the resale, not face value, but the average Swifty paid about $1,300 to attend there. Ooh oh, but that includes, okay, they're saying that includes like the merch that they buy there and everything. That still means Whoa. the ticket was probably Okay, a thousand. Yeah. I'll say a thousand. Yeah. Well, so she's doing seven million a night? That's nuts! What? And she's doing how many shows in LA? Five? Six. Woo, that's fucking 56 million, dude. Did you see she just gave her bus drivers like a big bonus? I did. That's is awesome. She, she's kind of the best. She sounds like the best. She put hmm. aside like 40 million as a tip for all everyone working the show. I heard about that too. It's so cool. Well, cool. look, she, it, it yeah. looks Bloomberg's reporting she's making 13 million a night. Well, that's probably her cut after. Yeah, I guess. I, I'm a, I don't know. 13 Bringing million in, a night. That's wow. ticket sales of more than 13 million a night on the road. That's just ticket sales. Think about the merch, too. Yeah. Merch is, well, merch more than ticket sales? With this many people? I don't know if it's more or less, yeah. but it, but it, but it's a lot, I'm sure. It's significant, so. Okay. Significantly more than 13 million a Taylor night. Taylor Swift, Shout everybody. Out. Damn. Mm -hmm. it's impressive. Yeah. Uh, Taylor Swift apparently caused a 2.3 earthquake during her show in Seattle. It showed up on the, uh, on what? this Richter scale. <laughs> Are you serious? Here it is. Uh, Taylor Swift fans shake it off, causing record-breaking seismic activity during a uh, oh Seattle God, show. I'm kidding. <laughs> Here she is, man. She's tipping the meter. <laughs> kind of scary, to be honest. Cheers, my dude. Like, like if you're in the stadium. That's a like, lot of power. Shaking. What? Yeah. I I thought about that too, man. Oh my God. Giant sinkhole underneath. Bye bye. So there it is, the power of Swifties. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you, what was the uh, gender spread of the people you saw there? Mm -hmm. Majority female, prob. Was it like vast or somewhat balanced? Somewhat balanced, sure. Okay. I mean, like maybe one fourth to three fourths. So like, not necessarily balanced, but what you, what I imagined. Mm -hmm. Nice. She just, oh yeah, she gave 55 million to, uh, to the crew, including a hundred thousand dollar bonus for her tour truck drivers. Amazing. That's, love that, dude. Even if you don't like her music, you got to give it up. Yeah, this is all good shit that I'm hearing. All good things, you know. Well, we stand, uh, we stand uh, a queen. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, now everyone's here. I could talk about this XQC shit. So. Yesterday, me and Hassan were talking about the uh, React channels. That just mean. And specifically, XQC, who, you know, I open a few of his videos, and he, he literally would sit there for two minutes from the beginning without saying a word mm, about it. One of those. And then his commentary would be like, he would start talking, and it's not even related to the video. Got it. The problem mm. with what he does. When, what, where does he do it? On so, like Rumble or whatever. Uh, kick. I think kick. He's well, on in Twitch. Twitch. So. Twitch. But Twitch then too. he recently got a big <laughs> fat deal with Kick. Hey, what's up, Felix? Oh, 100 million. Yep. Right. Yes. So here's the here's the issue. Doing it on Twitch is a separate conversation. If that if that's like fair use or if that's a problem for the copyright holders, whatever. The problem here is he clips shit out in its entirety, unedited, and puts it on his YouTube channel. Mm. It's absolutely nuts, and I'll show you an example. Um, I'll just click this one. <sighs> Watch this shit. Okay. Chat. Guys, I'm thinking chat. This actually might make you aware. Gonna make Two you aware. friends install a dating app and try their luck. Gonna make the you aware. tries to set up the perfect profile. A nice front picture. 
A group picture to make it seem like he has friends. This is a main post. A picture in Paris to make it seem like he's cultured. And a picture climbing mountains to make it seem like he's adventurous. After some hard work, the profile is ready. The woman doesn't feel safe sharing a lot of personal information, so she chooses the first picture she can find, and she's ready to go. 40 minutes. <laughs> they start 40 swiping seconds. and hope for the best. At the end of the day, when the woman checks her phone, her like counter is full. Practically every profile she likes 55 is seconds. Match. Soon she's overwhelmed by the amount of matches and messages on her. That's one minute. For the man, it's a different story. So far, he has only received a couple of likes and okay. has zero match. Okay, here we go. He becomes frustrated Whoa, with the app okay. and starts this questioning is a, this is a, this is a bit He puts so much okay. effort into setting so up. So I don't think that counts as comment. What did he say? He said, "Whoa, did it, did it, so I think if you're presenting this to a judge, you probably wouldn't include that as commentary. Well, we have several people on the staff that speak XQC. Would anybody care to interpret that? Because I, I also could not really... I think he said that's said. intel bait he a said little bit. Uh, he said it's incel bait. Incel oh, bait. Incel, incel bait, a bait a little bit. Got it. Okay. Okay, wow. Right, right, right. Hmm. I can't believe you guys understood that. Okay. Play it again now that we know what it is. Mm -hmm. okay. Back it up. Likes and okay. has zero matches. He becomes frustrated Whoa, with the app okay. and starts this questioning is a, this himself. Is a, this is a intel a little he bit. puts so much. He said intel. Bit. He definitely said intel. Say, How did you guys yeah. hear that, bro? What the fuck? Is that a, just is that something we're we're not young enough to know about? What's intel bait? <laughs> no, I know what he means by that. Intel bait. He means. I think he means. Yeah, he means incel, but you can't say incel on Twitch. Uh oh. What? Are you serious? I was so Twitch fucking so dumb. dumb. You can't say incel. Yeah, I found that out the hard way. I called into Fousey stream and I said incel like five times. Oops. My bad. That is so, You can say so... incel, you can't just call someone an incel. Oh. Uh, yeah. But intel is just kind of like a clever way around that. I mean, that'd be my guess. Gotcha. You're okay. in so, okay. so deep at this point. I don't even know how people watch this, but okay. It's not my thing. I, I can say I would rather watch his reaction than the original video. But that, but it's still that, supplanted. That the helps original. your argument. Yeah, because he's not transforming it, but it still makes people want to watch it because it's he, just something. He's this literally shot. supplanting the original video. Yeah, you know, people come here to watch this video, not to watch XQC react. Right, because he's not doing anything. Yeah, no, it just adds like the shad and a little bit. I'm not so, saying it's transformative; it just adds for me to watch it. Hey, I got it. But yeah. Oh, I think anyway, it's fucked up. Here's a minute 10. He said like one sentence. To setting up a nice profile after all. Why can't he get any matches? He's ugly as fuck, yeah. To answer that question, He's what? you need to understand the numbers behind He's ugly dating. as fuck. He's ugly as fuck. Okay. He's ugly as fuck, man. I don't think that counts as commentary either. Who's he talking about? The know. dating profile video gotcha. in question. It's just not enough. Apps. I made a simulation of a dating app with 1,000 dummies to try to understand why men get so few matches. Dating apps can- Yo, because they gotta compete- Guys, 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 I feel like this is just like- Check, can you just break it, break this down? Just evolutionary, like, it's just like normal, like, like animal type shit, dude. It's like, you gotta compete, bruh. Why do you think some birds look really nice and do all these tricks and add all these, these, these feathers that are all these colors under the men? And when the, when the women, it's just, it's just, a, it's just a brown bird. Because the men have to appeal the best and do all these... So, okay, I mean, I get... This part th is fine. This counts as commentary. Yeah. Yeah, this part is all fine. So it took him about two minutes. You know. But if I went through this... Anyway, whatever, he does this shit, right? And so we were talking about it. I said he's a content thief because, I mean, a lot of his stuff, he just sits there and doesn't fucking talk and doesn't care about... Fair use, he doesn't care about an analyzing, he doesn't care about the people whose content he's stealing. Those eggshells. Who is making the eggshells that he has to break. The omelets he has to cook. So here so he reacted in here. Here's what he said. Which it doesn't it doesn't load. <clears throat> kick.com, crushing it. <laughs> this didn't load for me either. <laughs> Love kick.com. Kick. You need to come Kick. Okay. Kick. So hopefully they're not all like that. He said apparently. 
He says, Ethan and Hassan aren't consistent, picking and choosing when to make a legal argument versus a moral argument. I'd love to see what he said. Kick. Here he's when he says he's going to sue me, by the way, for saying he's a content thief, which got my attention. Does this not I'm work sorry, either? I'm sorry, yeah. okay? I don't want to do anything in the bus by licking DMs. I'm sorry, dude, okay? Listen it. Listen it. If I flex on that bitch ass, I, I swear I'm not doing it by to use your name and, and make you look like a bitch, they're a bunch of bitches. When people act like some bitches, I have to call them out, and I'm sorry about that, okay? So I'm licking DMs this one time. Thank you. Fuck them. They can actually suck it, okay? This whole thing of theft, he's doing theft. That goes against your point directly, instantly. Okay? What? You are an idiot for your brain that. And you know what he did? He didn't say allegedly. He didn't say what? He literally called me a, a thief and stealer right on the fucking broadcast, which to be honest, isn't really a good look for me. And maybe, maybe. It's hey. not a good look for you, bro. That's why I said it. You know? You are a content thief, you know? And Okay, it cuts out here. So I saw he was alluding to. I don't know why it doesn't. Steal the thing. Right on the fucking broadcast, which to be honest isn't really a good look for me. And maybe, maybe, hey. Is there a longer clip? Anyway, he says he's. He, it's defamation, essentially. Oh, shit. Which I thought was pretty funny. Um, and then we ended up tweeting each other about it. Oh, really? Yeah, just a little bit. Just because I got. When I saw that, I got a little. I got a little heated up, I guess. Wound up? I don't know. I wasn't heated. It's just funny when people... I don't think he knows that doing dumb lawsuits is, my, is like literally my favorite hobby. I'd like to say publicly that XUC is a content thief, and if you think that is defamation, please sue me, bitch. Destroying morons in court is my favorite hobby, and if you want me to explain why you are a content thief, I'm happy to chat with you anytime. Actually, interestingly, I think he's going to call in on Monday. Okay. So, maybe we'll get somewhere. Probably not, though. But we'll, we'll talk. And then here, well, this was after I saw this, too, where he just mimics my Tourette's instead of actually addressing what we're if saying. I showed this already, but... Like mm -hmm. on pretty YouTube, good. It is most likely from a fan channel that took a straight VOD rip and posted it on YouTube and is monetizing it themselves. It's, yeah. not, it's not touching me in any capacity. And Can I be honest with you? What? There will be a time, in my opinion, where there will be some legal hammer that will come down on streamers. And there will be a time... You know, Jack? 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 There will be a time where people don't even use cars anymore, dude. There used to be a time people were going to start flying. You know, Jack? There's a time, chat. Chat, there's a time, chat where people are going to be teleporting, dude. Oh, I can't even understand. They literally... Like, I don't, they, he sucks, dude. He just sucks. You know? Character. He's a douche. <clears throat> and he, does he do stuff like this usually, Love? Just sure. Like low, like low blows like that? Oh. Yeah. 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 He doesn't really care. Right. Uh, here is a DM he sent me. He said... Oh, yeah. He messaged me first. He said, debate me, old guy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's, you see, age. 27? Uh, mm -hmm. Kind of Not old. that young, dude. A little old. I you know, I mean, mean you're round the bend there, buddy. Yeah. You're pushing 30. You're pushing 30, bud, <laughs> for sure. You still got bleach tips? No, hey. thanks. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, <laughs> we love bleach tip folks out here. <laughs> we respect the bleach tips. Carrot. Um. Oh shit! Wait, there was more. Debate me. I said sure. I wanted to do it today, but I realized we had the sour thing. Anyway, we talked more and we, we worked it out to Monday. He was nice in the DMs. Okay. Yeah, no problem. <clears throat> Here is what you are looking. This video shows XQC reacting to my video. He leaves room five seconds into the video and returns ten minutes later, making a mockery out of the fact that he is not reacting. I mean, dude, you should sue him. Like, that's an easy fucking win. That's just straight up content theft. 
what you are looking at is considered the. And he says he gets permission, but here's one of the guys whose videos he stole. Most densely populated place that ever existed on an area of just 6.5 acres or four football fields. Dozens of individual buildings have merged into. All right, cool. Nice, bro. It's rewind time. <laughs> allowed various work. Do not pose this to YouTube for the lack of react, for the lack of react. Boom! Motorhars Metal pipes, Motorhars cement, coming football, go at the back. Wait a minute, chat. Wait a minute, chat. Hold up. What? Your computer feed keeps freezing. It froze again? Mm -hmm. That's weird. Uh, well, I guess he was saying whatever. he w didn't want to post that on YouTube, so I don't th know. It's kind of edge case. I think this is a this is a very rare copper alloy right there, chat. Somebody chat pull a chat view of this city. Right? I mean, the guy's right. He's making a mockery of it. He's still stealing his content. It's a separate conversation, I think. But even if he sued him, I, I think on Twitch this is also would be content theft. But my my, my laptop's not working. Yeah, uh, work on fixing that. Yeah, it's on, uh, yeah. I mean, me, me and Hassan talked a lot about it on Thursday, so that's what that is. Well, anyway, it's 4.30 anyway. Maybe we should wrap it. We're having some tech issues. I think it might have been related to the power out, maybe. Probably. Oh. Yeah. Life was yeah, like started acting up after that. Chocolates. Hmm. All right, well, I think something might, might have blown up. He blew it. So, guys, thank you, everybody. I think we'll just wrap it up in the interest. 430. Thank you guys so much. Have a great weekend. Thank you for being here. And uh, listen. It's the H3 podcast. Not winning the streamies this year. Hey. This, this is some rainy weather out here in LA, bro. <laughs> Tell you that. Dude, we got a big weekend ahead. I can't wait to talk about it on Monday. Can't wait. Really? Do we? I'll type it out. Hold on. Oh. You do have a big weekend? I know. Somebody does. On What's the weather this weekend? <laughs> uh, okay. I'm not saying nothing. Don't say it. Don't read it out loud. It's a rainy day out here in Los Angeles. Is it going to rain or something? Yeah, it's, gonna, it's a rainy day. Why can't we talk about it? What the hell? Wait, what's happening? Why I do yeah, you... I, I was under the impression we weren't allowed to talk about it until oh. it happened. So, mom's the word. I guess mom's the word. But yeah, you guys We'll talk about it on Monday. Monday. Something big is happening yeah, this it's weekend. Gonna be fun. I mean, you, revolutionary. Could, you could say what it is without saying what it is, right? Mm. Uh, no, because it. Yeah, yeah, I think we should. Uh, I'll just say, I'm going to Arizona this weekend. All right, fine. Yeah. There it is. I'm going to Arizona. The rainy AB's day from Arizona. Here in Los yeah. Angeles. 115 degrees. Just consider it a big tease for Monday. You'll yeah, find out. It's going to be fun. Something gonna very be cool will be announced on Monday. Well, Keep guys, your eyes peeled mm -hmm. everywhere. Have a good, good weekend. We love you. Thanks for being here another week of the Shoot Podcast. We will be back on Monday. For another week of mediocre shows. Mm -hmm. Hopefully better than this week, though. <laughs> That's always the goal. All right, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend.